You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Absolutely, Beyond it absolutely. is another podcast. A podcast of sound. A podcast of sight. No, a podcast of mind. Yes, moving into a land of both shadow and substance. Of things and ideas you have just crossed into. The Hoodcast Zone. You are now listening to Hoodcast AF. The bad boys of action figure podcasting. Join Jonathan Fallen, Mike TV, and Cobra Dad as they shit talk some action figure related shit. Be warned that the ideas and opinions expressed are nothing more than entertainment. So fuck off and enjoy. 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 Hoodcast begins. Now. Welcome to Hoodcast. Uh, just like uh, Mr. Trump said, or uh, pre- you still call like old presidents, President, President yeah. Trump. Yeah. So, uh, but just like you said, fuck the Knife Party podcast. Those shirts are being created. I'm creating the design now, and those are really going to come out. I think even uh, BC Zach is going to order 12 of them himself. You know, <laughs> probably wipe his fucking. He's going to rip off the idea and make. Buck Hoodcast podcast shirts. I might buy one of those. <laughs> but uh, tonight on the show, man, uh, we're going to go over some horror icons and kind of rate them and kind of come out with like one who leads above concerning on their kill count, on their movies, on their action figures, on their memorabilia. And we have a special guest to help us out with that. That's uh, one half of the uh, hosts of the uh, Worthy Addiction show which is on uh thursday nights on youtube we have toy addict oh, 17 what's up man right. yeah, i don't know whatever <laughs> stumbling on the name <laughs> he's reading the name of the show that he already fucking knows unworthy or a worthy addiction thursday I, on YouTube. i stumble on that name so many times i'm just gonna call it awa now you know people know right i just want to make sure people know that's all who's von erickson if it's awa who's 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 carrie von erickson who's uh fritz I know they're all dead, right? <laughs> they got a movie coming out. Zach Efron's a, yeah. a fucking Von Erich. But I know that uh, Toy Attic, you're a huge Michael Myers fan and a Halloween franchise mm-hmm. flans, fan, flan. Dude, I, wow. I swear, I have not had much. I just started drinking <laughs> just now. I almost dude, got I've called into work. Much. That's why I haven't been drinking today. God damn, dude. dude I'm the guy that's tired. <laughs> Fuck. But uh, I also want to uh, point out that on December 9th, we're going to have another collectible toy show that Chisel and uh, Dave from the Diecast Shack put on. And uh, just like Fully Posable said from their podcast, not my words, they said it's one of the best toy shows ever in the area because of all the different vendors, all the different shit, and all the haggling that you can do. With us, like, Hoodcast's going to be there. So December 9th, it's only going to be one day. Get your Christmas collectible shopping in. So... One building, too. One building. Yeah, no more funneling everyone and buying all the good shit before you get to the next room, and then you're broke as fuck. Going, oh, fuck, I should have came here first. I know, man, you should (laughs) have. You should have, yeah. This is where the party's at. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get in to the horror icon. So, like I said, I have kill counts for all these characters, and uh, some some of them aren't even mentioned on here. But I'm going to start off on the bottom of the list and uh that's starting with the uh, jigsaw so these aren't just slashers they're horror icons too so his kill count kind of counts that he didn't actually kill him but he set up the kills so it all kind of counts mm-hmm. that way so are we only doing like big time mainstream horror or are we going to talk about like indie horror guys you can throw well? in anything you want man like okay yeah you know and and well i already know who's gonna win hands down it's jason Voorhees. Well, we'll get there. We'll get there. But let's talk about Jigsaw. Like, I mean, he's got 10 movies now, Saw X, and everyone's saying that mm-hmm. that's, that's a wonderful film. I still have yet mm-hmm. to see it. Have you guys I've, seen all the, every single Saw movie? I've movie? watched, like, the first 20 minutes of Saw X, and then I just stopped watching it because I was like, it's a stupid. <laughs> I haven't watched any of those movies, but recently my wife has binged all of them by herself which i'm surprised like wow. all of a sudden she's like i'm watching saw you want to watch with me it's and so I'm like hell to, to the nod i don't like that saw 
And uh, fucking, uh, she went today with my oldest son to go see uh, the new one. Mm. Mm. I haven't had a chance to see what she thinks about it, but I love the first yeah. one. The first one's great, man. Yeah, the first I don't one has like I, I, that. That shit gives twist. me too much anxiety. That that <laughs> the, the the torture shit. That means yeah. it's working. I seen one time. I, I don't know how I got onto it. it Must have been on YouTube, you know, go, doing some YouTube surfing, mm -hmm. and I fucking seen a scene, bro, on accident, and they tossed this bitch in like these needles. Yeah, mm. that's I, uh, and, uh, saw two, saw two, and yep. I said, "All yes. hail to the now." Yeah. So saw two that's not wasn't for me, bro. Saw two wasn't gonna be a saw movie, and they just slapped Jigsaw into it and changed it a bit. Uh, yeah. It's a pretty interesting tale about that one, but it still worked out, you know, for the whole yeah. Saw franchise because they didn't even know what they were going to do with Saw at that time. Yeah. Yeah, because then those guys had a shit ton of money to go make fucking ghost movies like the Conjuring series <laughs> and Dinister yeah. and Insidious and all that yeah. shit. Yeah. So yeah. even the figures coming out for Saw, we got some NECA Ultimates coming out. And we haven't mm -hmm. seen those yet, but I know they'll be cool. And hopefully more yeah. articulation than the earlier ones that, you know, mm -hmm. basically they're five point statues, which are cool. They made Saw uh, one through three with different variants, whether like his coat is black and red or all red or with the pig head or with the John Kramer head. But it came with like uh, the Billy puppet on, on the, the tricycle, which was really cool. Yeah. Uh, you guys want to do an over under on the kill count for John Kramer? So, if you, the person who gets, it's like uh, Price is Right rules, you know? Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> we'll, we'll start with you, Toy Attic. How, uh, what do you think his uh, John Kramer saw, Jigsaw Killer, his kill count is? And this could be kill. even off scene kills. Like, I include like bus crashes and shit like that with an estimated value, you know? I'm going to, I'm going to try not to cheat because um, I'm, I'm the same way. I've watched, the movies and i watched the new one but that movie is one of those movies that had they just stopped at the first one and left the ending the way it was it didn't yeah. explain anything it would have been perfect you didn't like the chris so, rock that, one what about spiral though does that count as oh, a no. saw movie yes it does it, it does because it's a spin-off yeah i mean it is i'm counting like, the kills from that too um i i want to say so what, what do i just give a a, a specific number or yeah. what i think specific number um um, damn, there's a lot of people. Um, cause usually like in those torture, like chambers that he has these things, he usually has like seven, eight to seven people like <laughs> starting off. So I want to, I'm going to go with a, a good, uh, 80, 80, 80? is okay. that 80? 80 is the kill count for me for what about the you, Mike? franchise. What do I think? Yeah. I'm trying to put together like 22, 22. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I yeah. think. Damn, that's that's low, I think. Uh, Cobra Dad, what, what do you think? Well, I've never seen the movies, but I would I would guess like he kills at least what? I would think at least like, like five people per movie, the and there's movie, ten movies, so five times ten, 10 is fifty. So I, I, I'm gonna agree yeah. with um with Toy Schmatic over here and uh, <laughs> Toy Schmatic. I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna say eighty. Eighty. Mm -hmm. Wait, you, yeah. you guys are both going eighty. So the yeah. actual number. And this is roughly what I came up with is 76. Okay. So you guys are oh, like close. dead close, close, man. Like, so, I mean, Toy Attic, you being, you know, seeing all the movies, that's a very accurate mm -hmm. guess, like without even counting and just mm -hmm. going off your mind. Cobra Dad, you're just a lucky guess because you ain't yeah. seen them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, if you think too, it's like you got to think like, like you guys are saying, like, and usually in the movies when they start the scenes, it's like five motherfuckers in like one room. Right. So yeah. you count and you got like, a bunch of movies, including the spinoff, you're like, damn, I know that's not, you know, that's a lot of fucking people. <laughs> so, and then even having, like, you know, the Saw killers and, and how he he does his ways, yeah. him versus, mm -hmm. like, another type of horror icon, I don't think would work out too well, because you can't get Jason in a trap. Freddy's just going to mind fuck you back, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe he could beat like the scream ghost face or something because that's a yeah. bunch of different people, which brings Did us you to the next that? person. <laughs> what would he call him? They're like, ghost face killer. You have killed so many people. Right. And you like horror movies. <laughs> what is your favorite horror movie? And are you willing to go through the path of pain to get to your victim? Actually, that sounds like a cool spin off, man. <laughs> I'd like to see that. <laughs> but yeah, let's talk about ghost face. 
So he's had, you know, a bunch of figures, uh, oh, mostly fucking... NECA, even like, uh, I think like hot toy knockoffs and stuff like that. And they're all right. You know, nothing too great about him. I mean, it's a simple Halloween costume, which makes the killer cool, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's he, what, seven movies now, or was it six? I think it's, it's seven. seven movies. Yeah, seven God movies. Yeah, dude. I eight, sk- eight soon. <laughs> eight. I skipped part six. I didn't watch it, and I watched part seven, which I thought was all right. Yeah. They're all kind of all right, you know? Yeah. I wish there was titty scenes in those movies. <laughs> you would think there would be, right? With all those bitches in it, hell yeah. But it, it just wasn't made in the 80s. That's why. No, no, no. So it did a lot of like breaking, breaking the third wall and like just having the humor. It like changed horror with, from what it was. And like it brought a lot of like humor and you know, so all that stuff. I'm counting the show also for the kill okay. count. So I never the, watched the fucking TV show. Was it worth watching? No, it's no. not. It, the mask is stupid. It wasn't even a ghost face mask, right? It was like some new school gray looking well, bullshit. Yeah. They they introduced it towards the end, like towards the like like after like there was like three seasons. They introduced it, but like you're uh, right, it had like it was a different fucking mask. It was well, like, you look like a fucking puffer fish gimp that was out of a box <laughs> ready to get fucked. It's MTV Man, trying I- to be like inventive and shit. It's like really, why do you want to change something that people People love, you know, they're watching it that was like for Teen the ghost Wolf. face. Why make Teen Wolf a TV show? Well, yeah. the Teen Wolf they made it more real and with teen problems yeah. and shit. They yeah. made it more fucking Riverdale. <laughs> <laughs> well, so Watch, for dude, seven movies screen, plus a, a one season television <laughs> series, how many kills are you going for here? <clears throat> we'll start with Toy Attic. We'll do the same rounds. Including the show, because again, this is another franchise that has a lot of kills. I'm gonna go a little. I'm gonna go a little higher than 80, and I'm gonna say around roughly. We're gonna. I'm gonna say around 120. 120. Even. Okay. Okay. 120 kills even. What about you, Mike? <coughs> See, I don't even know the fucking show. I've never even watched the show. They it don't got matter. Season, got I think it's one multiple. season. I didn't watch it. I think I got. I think in the movies they average fucking yeah. six people killed per movie, except seven. He has the fucking. The, the little liquor store bodega fucking scene. Fuck, dude. Just take a guess, dude. That's all it is. It's just all I'll fun. I'll just say 60. Okay, just say 60. 60. Cobra Dad, what you think? I've never seen all of God them. Goddamn, but... dude. Bro, fuck horror movies. Me neither. <laughs> and um, I think I've seen part one. That's the one with uh, Drew Barrymore, right? Mm-hmm. She dies in the beginning. Yeah. The first five minutes, yep. <laughs> yeah, she's 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 good. Co- Cobra character. just watched that oh, wait, first wait. scene when she gets gutted oh, and goes, I'm out. About the movie, yeah. <laughs> Got excited about there. <laughs> yeah. Um I I'm gonna go forty five. Forty five. All right. Well the answer I got forty five. Cobra. You, for wow. not being a, a horror aficionado, you know when people die. You got the sixth sense where people are 45. just being offed. Yeah, only forty five. Yeah. 45 in a screen. Well, because I mean, wow. they didn't kill that many people on the show then, because I was averaging they like didn't. six people, seven movies. You know, you're like, well, you like, figure in the show, they're only killing like one motherfucker per three episodes or something yeah. like that. In like the later movies of Scream, they started letting have two Survivor Girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or right. was it six? Three. They had three. three. You no, know, now they have like five. It's like the entire, all the whole cast is alive still. Yeah, so. like oh fuck, even Gil. Like, did she die? Nah, man, she's no, still on life support. She's still like, like she's still yeah. Like I thought she died. They need to have her and Sydney be the killer. End all, be all. Scream is done. Yeah, I know. I was like, like, I was waiting for like yeah, her, uh, Cindy I, to be the killer or uh, no, like was, what's his name? Like hit me with the phone. That dude, uh, with, like Matthew Stewart. Lillard, he needs to come back because yeah. he might yeah. not have died. Dying, no. man. I thought, I thought that's what we were gonna get in Scream Seven. That's what I like, thought. we were gonna get like Stu to come back. It would have been perfect. I mean, dude, they're gonna have I Randy love- back, dude. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Randy fucking died. Randy come back from there. Oh, yeah. I never died, but now I got fucked up nerve damage and I walk around like a chicken wing. Well, which was weird because when did he have time to have all these kids? <laughs> like I, I was kind of weirded out by that. Like he was already having did kids when he was in high school. Adult section. I mean, I he guess. was having sex in the porno section at the video store. Dude. Yeah. He's like, ah, yeah, let's go do this. Uh, next up, Candyman. So he's got oh, a bunch of ooh. films. What is it? One through four, and then the uh, the 
the the reboot remake. Oh, re- yeah. well, it's actually a sequel. Is it a sequel? Yeah, it is. It is so a it's a sequel to the original Candyman. I never so watched it. Races, it. The second yeah. one, third one, I think there was a fourth one, maybe. Like, yeah, I know it's a, it's a Jordan Man. Peele movie, right? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. good. Like yeah. I fucking went into it wanting to hate it. I like Jordan, Jordan Peele's movies. It. Like they're all right. Like even the Alien one was okay. Uh, I was I was enjoying it, you know, while watching it. I'll never watch it again though. Nope. <laughs> yeah, nope. Nope. I ain't, ain't watching it. Yeah. Kisses and she gets all over the house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but and my I, wife watched it. She liked it. I thought Us yeah. was hilarious just because. Us uh, is good. Tim, Us is good. Yeah, it's bugged out. Tim Heidecker was good. fucking hilarious in it doing like the zombie. <laughs> you know, like. I didn't it, like to get out. The it's Get just, Out was like probably like his more stale of You know, he wants like, to make, yeah. make these horror movies starring black people, which is great. You know, and but then he gets Tim Heidecker, like one half of another comedy duo, you know, to, to play the role. Uh, that's fucking hilarious. But yeah, Candyman. So he's got NECA figures. All these all these horror things at least have a NECA figure, right? Maybe yeah. not Leprechaun and shit, but, you know, Candyman's got a few and they're they're OK. Nothing great about them. But the uh, eight inch one for NECA has like kind of like the. The cool chess piece, yeah, and the fur coat, but yeah, and then there's the, the McFarlands too, yeah. So kill count and can- Candyman. Um, I'm gonna go sixty. Sixty. Right. Sixty. Just because I can't remember like the older. I, I only watched. I only enjoyed the first one in the uh the sequel, the reboot sequel, but like all the other ones. I'm gonna go sixty. Just okay. Sixty. I always like part two a lot. That one was pretty cool. Hmm. What about you, Cobra Dad? Um, I'm going to go one of my favorite years that I, at the best age. I think I was at my peak at this age. I'm going to go 36. 36. Hmm. All right. All right, Mike. 13. 13. Well, the correct hmm. answer. He fucking basically, he focuses basically on his kills of like. You're correct. He picks the person. Yeah. So the the answer is twenty. So wow. yeah, because it's including like the newer movie and stuff. So yeah, twenty yeah. people. So thirteen. That's a winner, man. You're you're yeah. under. So uh, I was giving them too much. <laughs> it's because he usually focuses on one general person. Yeah. Like yeah. man doesn't have like one he calls. People. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's then usually, like fools on the way get murked out. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like homegirl fucking homie over here and her fucking dude there, and it's like <laughs> yeah, like averaging two or three kills. Yeah. Yeah. But it's pretty like. He's pretty stale as far as like a super slasher. So yeah. Next, uh, Victor Crowley, which I haven't seen any oh, of these fuck, movies. Dude. I haven't seen any of these movies at all. Are they good? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah. This is gonna be who the fuck is Victor Crowley? So Nick, uh, Nick actually, made a made a made a figure of him. Yeah, yeah, there's three literally. movies by Adam Green called Hatchet. No, it's four. Yeah, I think right. Because they made the fourth one was what Victor Crowley. Victor Crowley and Hatchet, yep. and it has a. Uh, Fucking Dave Brokey in it? From, uh, Wasn't he in No, it's got the it? chick from Halloween 4, Daniel Harris. Okay. Oh, yeah, Daniel, yep. He's in it, yep. Yeah, fucking. Uh, man, Kane Hodder plays uh, Victor Crowley. That, yep. Okay. And this All shit's right. got a high kill count, dude. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's fuck, like, dude. That's like, like another. That's like another uh, Friday the Thirteenth movie. <laughs> uh, let me, I think it's even it. beyond Jason. Let me tell honest, you, dude, like, it's not that high. It's really? not really. No, he's he's All like right. he's like a low number dude. Like not too low. You guys been guessing right around that. So yeah, I, I mean, look, we, we won't even guess on this one. I'll just tell you, it's sixty four. You know, oh, okay. you would think it'd be a lot more. Maybe he's just brutal well, when he does it, though, and it seems like a see, lot. See, like the the first movie, it was like uh, like think a dozen people. Mm-hmm. Second movie was like. A hot whole fucking squad of people, <laughs> and then the third one is a whole nother fucking squad of cops and shit. He killed the motherfucker with a power sander. That's cool. Yeah, like I guess I gotta watch these movies because of all the gore. You know great. that I'm a gore. Really good. Dude. Adam Green did a really good job on it, dude. Is yeah. it Adam Green or David Gordon Green? I think it's, I think like it's Adam, Adam Green. Green. Who's it Adam? Might Green? be Adam Green. Because David Gordon Green does all the television shows and Halloween newer movies. He did the Hall- yeah. yeah. And he's not bad. He has some good shit that he does, and some stuff is just. Adam off. Green won the fucking that show that Matt Damon did. Uh, what they were trying to like get off as a filmmaker or whatever, Project Greenlight or some shit. So 
next up, uh, he's not one of like you know the big five, but I think he really cemented his place as as an icon pretty recently, and that's Art the Clown from the Terrifier movies. Oh. Now, I know he he barely has any figures; they're all made by Trick or Treat Studios. Like I have yeah. the one six yeah. scale bloody version, and it's cool. The body mm-hmm. sucks; it's all loose. The head always falls off. But the sculpt of the head looks really nice. The hands are really cool. The weapons are really cool. I I don't think it's worth two hundred bucks, you know. But it's probably the only thing you can get. So well, he it retailed at like one twenty, one thirty. Yeah, that's when I got it. But it's it's up now originally, and then now it's going for like one eighties and up and shit. It's crazy. And now they're gonna announce. Now they have the. They're gonna be screening the uh, Terrifier two in theaters, and they're gonna be giving you. 20 minute clip of the newer movie of the Terrifier 3 now. So Terrifier 3 is going to take place during Christmas. It's going to be a Christmas movie. So that's going to be awesome. awesome. I, I can't wait for that. Yeah. Cuz I love part I don't one, know part plays two. Art the Clown is in that Mean One movie. He yeah, plays Art the Clown. He's he's in like the yeah. new Horror Grinch movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he plays the Grinch. Yeah, he's definitely like a a trained clown character actor. He, and, he's really good. It's got to be hard to play a silent character and try to get personality to it. Right. Yeah. Like Michael Myers just kind of walks around. That's why he's yeah. the shape. But Art has like personality. Well, there's shit. a lot like, of similarities know. between Art and Myers. Like, so in the it's first movie, cool, they're both humans. You know, you don't know mm-hmm. anything about them. You just know that they're pure evil, kind of. And mm-hmm. then by the end, like when uh, Michael Myers falls out the window and gets shot a bunch of times, and then he's gone. You know, he, he's obviously got some sort of superhuman strength or whatever. They both mm-hmm. don't feel pain, you know. Um, in the second movie, they're more supernatural a little bit, you know. Well, you're yeah. only going off of what, Terrifier 1 and 2 and not the yeah. Hallow's Eve? So, uh, Hallow's Eve, it's not the same actor. And the the idea yeah. between... It's the same director. So, the, the, the idea behind the short films mm-hmm. that were in All Hallow's Eve and The Ninth Circle and, and that stuff is that those are made up films in the universe that art the clown lives in and mm. that's why people all know about art the clown and it's it's like a myth myth you know and it, it kind I mean, of fuels it, the whole thing it, just like in haddonfield everyone knows uh the legend of michael myers and stuff and then it but before all hallows eve it was before all hallows eve it was just a short film like a short 20 minute film called the uh, ninth rain ninth circle mm. and art the clown Ninth Circle, yeah, and Art the Clown was like basically a demon in hell or whatever because he was dragging people to hell. To yeah, he was working for stuff. the devil, and you didn't know if he was a human yeah. working for the devil or he got special powers from the devil. Yeah, and they redid a lot of those scenes in Terrifier 1 and 2. I mean, with the uh, kind of different, a uh, different actor played yeah. Art the Clown too. If, if, if you could recast fucking Art the Clown, like say you're going to make Terrifier in like a big major budget Hollywood movie, like. Three hundred billion dollars. I say Nicolas Cage, <laughs> but he would Nicolas have to talk. Cage. Wait, he didn't talk in the uh, uh, Willies at Willies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he didn't talk in yeah. that. Yeah, has got the Nicolas Cage in everything, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like he seriously, you're the- always like, oh, Nick Cage would be dope. Nick Cage would be dope. I'm a clown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he can do the faces. He's got that weird smile and shit. I have this bag of garbage. It's a bag of tricks. Yeah. (laughs) I'm gonna slice you from vagina all the way down. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, his kill count's only 26. I mean, you know, two movies and then two shorts, basically. I think there was Mm -hmm. one other earlier short, too, though, but, you know, that's like one death. Uh, yeah, next Well, my ninth circle basically became All Hallows Eve. They just extended it. Yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. Because so, uh, all that, like, you can tell the extra footage in it, like the older footage was added or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, Leprechaun. So there's a bunch of movies. I, I think there's like seven. Leprechaun in the Hood, bitches. Leprechaun Returns <laughs> to the Hood. Leprechaun in Space. Leprechaun mm-hmm. Goes to Space Again or something. Yeah, there's a lot of them. And I've only seen maybe three of them. Leprechaun, yeah. the Hood, the Space one, and, you know, the first one, of course, with... You know, the Friends girl. Which, they're not that great of movies. They're all right. They suck. They yeah, it's got Francis. The The first one's got Francis yeah. from fucking Pee Wee Herman, dude. Yeah. 
Uh, there's no leprechaun figures, really. There's like some, some statues and, and uh, things that people make, some customs and stuff. But no one's tapped into that. And people are asking oh. NECA to make some leprechaun figures. And I think they'd yeah. sell. You know, they made Puppet Master figures. But, you mm -hmm. know, and that's like kind of an obscure franchise. And uh, those figures have been made before, though, by uh, Full Moon Full Studios Moon. had yeah. made their own shit. Yeah, because Full Moon used to have their own in-house fucking yeah. production shit for their toys and shit. So Leprechaun's kill count is only 67 for as many films as he's done. But he kind of like, you know, just like a lot of other supernatural killers, they they go off one person, you know, at a time. Yeah. Or a group well, of people. Well, no, he does after if he got his gold, man. I oh, want yeah. his gold, yes. <laughs> Next up, a Wishmaster. Now, the only Ooh. figures of this was the McFarlane, which is a dope figure. I love that figure. It looks really good. I don't yeah. think they made any of the Wishmasters from, like, two or three, which mm. in part three, Andrew Divoff did not come back and do the role. And I think they even made a Wishmaster four that I did not watch. I'm not sure. <laughs> I that. know they was prophecy fulfilled and fuck. I just dude. like in, in part two which is not that great of a film he's the guy who can get things in prison like that's a cool idea for like you know evil Jin. he's the guy who can get things man he knows he, he smuggles shit in and you just ask him and make a wish and you get it <laughs> now you guys got this is a tricky one so the the kill count on this now if you remember the first film, there that plane crash lands. That's at least a but you know you gotta yeah. assume that it's a at least half filled plane because most planes mm -hmm. are filled. It depends on the time of day or night. And I think it was night, and it was her sister. Or something was on it. I I don't know. I forget. But yeah, there's there's so his kill count is really high, and you can also suspect that his kill count isn't high because at the end of Wishmaster One, she wishes she never made that first wish, which none of that mm, shit yeah. ever happened. But I'm still counting it as kills because that's what the she movie's wished about. that that guy was. She wished that that guy wasn't drinking on the job where he dropped that fucking crate on the motherfucker. Yeah, onto Sam Raimi's like fucking nephew Joxer. Yeah. <laughs> but like it had that fat ass party scene where the guy's like, "Oh, I want the, the some the amazing party people will talk mm -hmm. about." Right, party. Now, right there's got to be at least two to three hundred people at that party. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know if it's like yeah, you know, probably at least 50, 60, 70, You know, just in those halls. When that skeleton rips out of that dude, it's all bloody and man. See, yeah. that's why horror films need to go back to fucking puppets and shit. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, the CG stuff just kind of bugs me, but I'm okay with it. You know, at least we're still yeah. getting gore and stuff. They had to do it because the, yeah, it was all price cuts, dude. Because you know conventional effects. Because you used to do that shit. Yeah, like trying to do conventional effects and you make masks and shit. That shit's expensive. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's hard to do. And then like you know. Doing all the molds and working with latex, it's fucking messy. You need a lot of space to do it. Uh, but also, yeah. too, they get a lot of they get a lot of cuts too. Like it's like they got to get approvals for a lot of like. There's a lot of movies that like they suffered from a lot of cuts, and a lot of kills from them, like Friday yeah. the Thirteenth Part Seven, and that's why I didn't. You know, they wish they would have kept all the scenes they should have kept because it wasn't as, you know. Yeah, and then like they end up losing all that footage, and you can't release yeah. it now. You know, and people would like to see it, and you can make a lot more movie money yeah. with like basically yeah. a new film. You know, it's like yeah. a new version. It's like the Snyder Cut, <laughs> or or Rock or Rocky Four. <laughs> dude, <laughs> that new Rocky Four, four was great, dude. Like that, I loved it. I love the extra scenes. I loved it. It makes total sense. And like, if I watched a documentary where it was just Stallone sitting in a room with the editor explaining why he's cutting this out and why did they. There's certain things that they reused over and over again, like certain yeah. crowd scenes. He's like, why would she even be there? This doesn't make any, any editor out, you know? But, uh, yeah, it, it was a boring documentary, but interesting. Yeah. I, I don't know why I did this. Uh, but, yeah, Wishmaster's kill count is 230. So that's Damn. real fucking high. But mm. we move on to Hellraiser and Pinhead. Oh. Now, this is all the movies. Uh, even with the, got, the girl pinhead, I'm counting that because she basically. Well, see, this is a this is a touchy one because if you think about it, we only know, we can only guess by what we've seen in the movies 
while that guy was doing that shit way before the first movie. Right. You get what I'm saying? We're going like, so, off the movies, what happened in the films. Well, uh, and also, like, there's certain scenes where you do so see a lot of people, it? you know. Well, yeah. I don't know. I think this is, I think this is, you would Are say, we going off of Pinhead skills or are we going to go off of Frank skills? Do Frank skills count as Pinhead skills? Yeah, they all, they're, they're all. Because remember the first movie had uh, the, the, the mom or whatever, and she was. Yeah. I mean, that's, guys for this Frank. is going to be a big number. That's like small potatoes. So you yeah. got to think about that. Uh, what is it in part three with the well, Hellbound, night? Hellraiser three, the nightclub, the nightclub. Yeah. That's that's so in fuck. a nightclub. You got to think there's like two, three hundred people there. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So and that's yeah. I, but that's, then the technicality too of that is most of the people that he kills actually come back as Cenobites. So technically, he doesn't actually kill them. He's just yeah. converting them. Yeah, that's true. And he they has all souls, come back at Cenobites. Not all of them. Pretty much. I mean, a lot of them. What happens to like, like all those? The DJ came fools, back though? as the TD guy. Uh, was Bloodlines? They had the twin security guards. They came back as that fucking two headed thing that came up and sucked that dude up. Yeah, like. Mm. What is Pinhead like? Like, is he in control of that whole universe? So basically, like if you read the books, like Hellbound Heart and Scarlet Gospels, Pinhead is just literally a priest of fucking hell. Mm -hmm. Like he's mm -hmm. really so it he's is basically hell. the Papa Emeritus. Okay, yeah. he doesn't run shit. So like in Scarlet Gospels, he's trying to hunt down fucking Lucifer, ah. and he's trying. He's going against Harry Demore, who, if oh. you ever seen Lord of Illusions, yeah, it's the Scott Bakula character Harry Demore. And they're trying to battle towards Lucifer, and it just boils down to like Pinhead has no power really. Mm. He's just he's an androgynous. He has like no sex, so I should be calling them a, a they them. Uh, <laughs> they're all they them. And it just, yeah, but like it's just they're androgynous. They're they don't yeah. have a sex. Well, they and don't really care he about. Really that. has no power. He just kind of mm. ushers people into hell, and oh, and then. Yeah, they get mm -hmm. tortured or whatever. It's yeah, they like, kind of make their own decisions. He just leads them in that direction. Yeah, yeah. yeah, kind of yeah you're right. So I put his kill count at three fifty, and that's mm. it's a rough estimate, you know, because Whoa. of the nightclub scene. I'd say that nightclub scene because it was a <laughs> fucking crazy packed nightclub. Like, and then the the DJ went off and started killing the cops in the street or whatever. Going through the street trying to get the chick. So I wish NECA would release like Frank figures and uh, Angela. Like, do we need re releases of those? Those are great. Yeah. Um, I have the original Frank. And, uh, it, it's still a pretty cool figure, but still, it has no articulation other than yeah. the arms going up and down and the head turn. Because there's the one with the suit, and then there's the one where he's totally skinned. Um, he comes with a rat and a knife. I like mm. the McFarlane pinhead. Just because right. the pins are really small and the, it looks good, while yeah. the NECA version that they re-released, like the cloth, kind is kind of off to me, but it's fine. The pins are too thick on his fucking head. I don't think it looks good in pictures. Like the the nails look too too thick, you know. And I, I know it's just because of their molding technique and everything, mm -hmm. but and it's still a good figure, but uh, I think it lacks just because of that. Mm. But if we could get more Cenobites, that would be fucking awesome. Yeah, absolutely. At least let's chat another a new chatter, an updated chatter, fucking mm -hmm. the fat butterball. Like, yeah, just butterball. give us the updated, like the original, the original five. Yeah, would yeah. Be fine. And next up, and give us a Christie, goddammit. it. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, and also, you know, you you got to think. Don't fuck with the Chuck. Because Chucky's still relevant and he's still going, yeah, you know. He's still murdering motherfuckers, dude. Dude, he's God still damn. funny as fuck, and his kill count <laughs> is pretty high. I'm including the shit that, like, he even killed Liv Morgan after uh, an episode of the Chucky show. But here's so the I'm thing, though, that. with Chucky, is you can't technically count his kill count because he's his uh, season three is still going. And that well, shit is still but I'm saying growing, up, up to his recent <laughs> shit, which season two like, just ended. So yeah, I'm counting all the that fourth stuff. Fourth episodes of season three, dude. I'm also counting season the uh, Luke Skywalker version of Chucky. That counts too. <laughs> oh good. fuck, dude! It's fucking good, man. I like that movie. I thought it was cool, and uh, I like that the kids are watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre too. That's fucking mm. awesome. And like the doll <laughs> learns from that movie. I was like, oh, that's cool. It's a totally different take. 
You know, it's just an evil robot, but you know, yeah. it's, it's pretty basic. It's an evil it's, iPad. It's U- Ultron Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> But his kill count out of because he's had two seasons like full like what are they eleven twelve episodes, you know we're uh, on season three dude Four seed of Ch- Chucky three. one through three and then seed of Chucky bride of Chucky all that shit just, you know cult, cult of, of Chucky, Chucky. Yeah, what else the, yeah there's a bunch of fucking movies all the Netflix ones yeah. mm-hmm. dude two hundred seventeen kills. And that's, Damn. I think that's an exact number. I think there now was you add, a bus load you gotta of... Add the, you gotta add the extra 32 from the first four episodes of the third season. <laughs> wait, wait. I might be forgetting that part three, all the people using real bullets. I'm not sure how many kids died there. Oh, the <laughs> fucking military school? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I forgot yeah. about that. Okay. It might be a little more than that. Yep. It might be a little more than that. So Chuck's pretty up there. Uh, now we're getting... And he's in- still killing yeah yep. dude and that's and awesome that, and that new NECA uh, Chucky figure I have that figure from the TV show that thing is fun like, oh one. you got that I love the one with the yeah with the flip in the bird it's dope man. that thing is awesome so it doesn't have season 2 stuff like it doesn't have like bald Chuck like uh, you know Vietnam Chuck <laughs> No, no, I'm hoping oh, that they make fuck. like a muscular, the muscular one, the oh, bald yeah. one. I hope they make all of them. Like, that, I wish that's the thing I wish it had. I wish it had those different head sculpts. It does have like the melted face and then it has a, like a yelling face and a grin face. But I it, think they're, I think that, yeah. Dude, I totally want Apocalypse Now fucking Chucky. Dude, Apocalypse Mother Now fucking, Chucky. That's Marlon Brando Marlon Chucky. Brando dude. Chucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's Marlon why I Brando think like Chucky. the writers of the show are realizing, hey man, we got deals with toys. We got to change yeah. Chuck up a bit, you know. Even mm-hmm. if people don't like it, it's still funny. People are gonna buy the no, figures, you know. And it's because yeah. how many Chuckies do you really need to buy? Like they all kind of look the same and just have a little bit different. Like you know, the pizza face Chuck, or you yeah. know, because like even the NECA version, it's part one and part two in one box. Yeah. You know, because yeah. he's got the blade hand and everything else. Mm-hmm. Uh, next up, Leatherface, and that's mm. every single movie: the origins, the remakes, oh, wow. the reboots, the uh, you know, even the new Netflix one where he kills that can busload we, of fucking kids. Can, can I make a motion that we just like don't put in the next generation Chainsaw movie, like Chainsaw Four? Can we just like the one with Matthew McConaughey? Can we just like not all right, include all right, that, all right? Yeah, let's just. <laughs> Never forget. Let's just erase that one in general from the existence of <laughs> hey, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Every once in a while, I watch that movie just because of how much I hated it. I go, I got to watch it again, give it another shot. <laughs> I, and then I go, no. I watch, it, <laughs> I watch it to remind me of how terrible it is every fucking time. And oh, yeah. I think it's on one of the Tubi channels. So I won't even buy that shit on DVD. That shit just doesn't <laughs> even exist. And I own that fucking Leatherface one with the pretty boy kid. You know, it's and fucking Steven Dorf, dude. Like, yeah, I think like Texas Chainsaw or three, the new beginning or whatever. It's not three, it's four or whatever. It's basically yeah. part four. Um, it's like a just a cunt hair away of becoming a thousand <laughs> house of a thousand corpses. If a house of a thousand corpses was, was bad, really bad, it would have been that chainsaw movie because it was they were they did the play in the, the, the living room and all that shit. They did the same thing that house of a thousand corpses was, did. It was yeah. House of a Thousand Corpses without the hillbilly rape porn sex. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just, they're like, uh, we got Matthew McConaughey, so it's it's more of like Marshalls. And yeah. House of a Thousand Corpses is Ross, you know, because there's just that minor <laughs> difference. The it's two. the TJ Maxx of, of fucking tank yeah. TJ yeah. films. <laughs> it's, it's like, like fucking good. Burlingame <laughs> Coat Factory. <laughs> <laughs> they sell more than coats. Um, <laughs> yeah. I know they sell toys. <laughs> they do like discount toys now, but uh, this is where, like this, Leatherface got some dope ass figures. Everyone's made figures. <laughs> Mark Farland's bloody variants, NECA, um, even but they Mezco. That figure <laughs> they've fucking... never made a, a fucking New Beginnings or Next Generation Chainsaw <laughs> figure. <'Cause> even they <laughs> no. know it sucks. No, Fuck. NECA didn't even do it. Nope. Because yeah. it just Leatherface is really fucking like feminine is fucking that shit. Yeah, uh, they they. Do I it. think, I think Trick or Treat Studios will pull it off though. They'll they're they're gonna fucking do it because they got so many like God, like no. licenses that they'll do anything. Like God, I feel like no, they'll they'll one, they will be the one that they will. Honestly, there's a believe it or not, there's a market for shitty 
sequels to there movies is that, that people will buy like like even me there's like a lot of shit like i would buy a fucking leprechaun goes to space again toy like i would buy that i would shit. actually buy yeah. a matthew mcconaughey whatever his fucking character with the robot leg with the robot leg hell yeah what about the dude with the nipple rings yeah that fucking guy that showed up uh, 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 i'll pass on him but <laughs> yeah uh, moving yeah, up from Leatherface, let's go because we're these are the big three now. Michael, Wait, Myers. how many kills? How oh many shit, kills shit! Do we have for Leatherface? So Leatherface is a measly forty-five. Really, forty-five? No, like the Netflix movie killed at least fucking in that bus. Thirty alone. fucking hipsters on that bus. Was there thirty <laughs> on that bus? Maybe I'm not counting that film. All right, uh, 95. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, good, dude. that's perfect. Perfect. That's a perfect number. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this dude's that's freaking like the out. First, it's the first fucking movie that I really wanted <laughs> everybody to die in the movie. Like, the minute the movie started, I was like, yeah, kill them all. Like, how dare you go to this place and tell people what to do? <laughs> dude, I, like, right? how, like, how I, laughed, dare you? I laughed so no, hard the when they all pulled out their phones. Movie. The most <laughs> fucked up thing about that movie was, like, that old lady owned her fucking house. And and yeah, it was right? just like, get the fuck out your house, dude! Like you yeah, guys right, done right? fucked up, dude. Yeah, get out of here. Favorite, we need a place to my, party. My favorite line in that whole movie was, uh, "Oh, I should have died at the school." And then the whole time I'm like, "Well, with, because of your sister, you're gonna die here." So, <laughs> so you're like, "Fuck today." <laughs> it's like you're such a great sister. Like she survived a. Uh, a traumatic experience, and now you're gonna bring her into some other shit. Thanks. And what if it's got the capitated out of the fucking <laughs> self driving? Uh, and, what, you uh, and what the hell? That's supposed to be like Leatherface, like, but he's like young. You know, come on, right. like, you know, right. I I suspended disbelief, and you know, I just want to see people die. You know, and it's another t- chainsaw movie, so I'm good with that. There, and that bring goes, it back. The best one is part back. one, the original one, of course, no. right? No, part two. No, part one well, is... Well, all I know is there's a scene in part one where he fucking slides open the door and busts Boom. that motherfucker. Yeah. Bah! And then dude falls and starts geeking. Yeah. I, 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 I the and then one, he yeah. just grabs that bitch motherfucker up and just takes him in the joint. And there's no and soundtrack. The door. No music. Bro, that's no, hard no. as fuck. Dude, it's just the soundtrack is just noises, creepy noises. Like the, the flash of the camera, That's it's it's magnesium that lights off that they took the sound from. Going, Bing! Yeah, that's an old yeah. school camera sound. But it, it fucking works, man. And but, there's barely any blood in the film. It's just too brutal that they've never showed it on TV or nothing like that, you know? 2003's uh, La Texas Chainsaw Massacre is the one that, that I like, I love the original, but that's the one that really, like, the kick-started one with all the re- that, yeah, kick-started all yeah. the reboots. Yeah, that's like, a good one, too. Yeah, they were the kick-started the, the reboots. Like, after that one, like, everybody wanted to read. That's why you got a reboot of all the other ones. That's yeah, when yeah, you're uh, right. you're right. Michael Bay's company that is took a good over. One. I, that's that a good a, movie, that yeah. That's a good fucking movie, hell yeah. yeah. Michael Bay was this doing did. all the, uh, or his company was doing all the re- reboots and buying up all the franchise to ma- just make cash grab monies. And while the uh, 2003 Tex Chainsaw Massacre, even though they're not the, uh, the Sawyers, they're the Hewitts yeah. now. Which yeah, is yeah. still a good movie. I still I, liked it, it man. Worked. I was it fucking worked. trying to figure that name out for a second. I was like, God <laughs> damn it. I was like, it was fucking a different name. And that's why I got over it. Like, it being a completely different chainsaw, I was like, oh, that's yeah. the Hewitt. It's not the Sawyers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the 2003, there's a good scene where the sheriff dude is, like, talking to that kid in the van mm-hmm. and shit. And he's got that motherfucker shitting his pants, man. Yeah, and he's great yeah. in that film, man. Was it yeah. Lee Army or whatever? And yeah. evil as fuck, dude. Fucking gutting. Yeah. Yeah. I like that movie. I'm glad. I totally forgot that they met, rebooted that in that way. Hey, plus, dude. Hey. Yeah, that movie starts off with a bang, too. That girl who pulls, like, the gun out of her fucking snatch yeah. and then shoots herself yeah. in the head. And yeah. then the, the camera zooms, goes through her head and goes out the window. The That's yeah. fucking... I, I was like, oh, the, shit. Yeah. <laughs> the, the only thing that I don't like about the movie is the guy that played Leatherface in that movie. He used to, like, make, like, little slick comments to the original, to Gunnar Hansen, the one that played the original Leatherface. Yeah. And Gunnar Hansen and him really didn't like each other because he was like, well... Like, they were, like, competing. I mean, but I will say that the 20... 20- 
2003, like, that was a... I mean, the original was scary, but that one was, like, for the new generation, it was a scary fucking version. Yeah, he was a beach, man. Yeah, he was a beach yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, he, was, he wasn't, like, the, 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 you know, the old scrawny... I mean, all, the, all respect to Gunnar Hansen because he was great in that time, but for the new generation, that motherfucker was scary. Yeah, and he was, like, hella fucking agile, and he was, you yeah, know, he was yeah. breaking through shit after breaking your ass. Until like, they, you're not getting away from this Until they did the direct sequel, though, to part one, and it's supposed yeah. to be years later, and that, that fucking dude who played him, I don't know who it was, but he was small and, like, kind of skinny, but with a pot belly, which... Whatever, but like it didn't, yeah. it didn't work, and it didn't make Are any you talking sense. Chainsaw 3D, yes, Chainsaw 3D. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it Where they took Massacre off the name because there was like a school shooting or a mass shooting. Oh, they're like, yeah. it's a very insensitive time. We're just gonna call it Texas Chainsaw. Yeah, and while we're gonna it's bring not... it back to the Netflix movie, we're gonna bring up but the like, subject back. <laughs> yeah, Mosley did a really good job as a fucking Drayton Sawyer, like. Bill Mosley getting to play Drayton Sawyer was probably like the best thing they can do. Like that shit was so good. Well, let's let's move up to Michael Myers in the Halloween series. And how many so movies? He's saw number two. No, I'm he's just number two? I'm just moving up the list and how I I'm not saying who's number one or whatever. Mm. You know, uh. I, I'm just moving up the list of how I wrote it down. You know, okay. so and. Look, I, I'm, I'm not going to... Michael was one of the first slashers, you know, in history. The, the, the first well-known one that, that actually sparked people's yeah, interest. It, there was yeah, other it, slasher movies that you would consider slasher movies, but they weren't yeah. anything big. Like, the first Halloween movie... It started movie the genre. It was, started yeah. the genre of the horror icon. Yeah, because like, even after, like, Halloween came out, then they started making, like, you know, Friday the 13th, which was just going to be an ordinary, you know, slasher ripping off that movie. But they it did was, it from it was, first yeah. person perspective, which was different from Halloween. Believe it or not. No, but the uh, funny thing is, even the director said to, like, I guess the creator of that one or whatever, I'm, I'm literally ripping your movie off. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Believe it or not, uh, Believe it or not, Texas Chainsaw is like, it doesn't get as much credit, but it is the original. Is it the it original? Came before, it, 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 it was came in 76. It, so. it came before Halloween. So the fact that. It doesn't yeah. get that. That's why I put Leatherface on my Mount Rushmore of horror icons. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, 74 to, was the original Chainsaw Massacre, Was it right? 70? Yeah, he, I he, thought it was 76. It was 75, 74. Okay. Yeah. I think Halloween came out in 78. 78 and was the original Halloween. And I, 78 and I believe, was the original Halloween. That's why it's Halloween 78. And yeah. then, yeah, I think 74, 74, 76. Yeah. Well, Texas see, Chainsaw Massacre, 1974. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it was fucking mafia money. Yeah, and Tex Chainsaw, it was it was banned. You know that I think that's why yeah. it didn't get all the, its notoriety because it, you know, with horror fans it did, but like as being like an original slasher, nah, it doesn't because it's straight up fucking horror. Let me bring up a point. Imagine this: there's no phones, iPhones, and twenty slasher movies every three months. There's no Netflix. And but there is theaters in your neighborhood, mm-hmm. and in nineteen fucking seventy four, you'll see a you, stack. You film. go, you go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go check out what it, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Just the yeah. name itself, right there. Back, they're like, what the fuck is this? And then you go see that shit. It had to blow motherfuckers' That's minds. That's like a newspaper no. headline. And when people saw that film, they <laughs> thought it was real, kind of like Blair Witch shit. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. How Charlie Sheen thought fucking the guinea pig experiment was real. Yeah. Right. And called the police <laughs> and shit. Yeah. Looked out at a party at his house. Somebody showed him that shit. Oh, my God. It just watches the fucking snuff movies. And <laughs> But even before Texas Chainsaw, like, a lot of people don't give Norman Bates credit. Norman Bates came before that. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah. 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 Dude. You don't Psycho, give, right? you don't give, yeah, you don't give yeah. Psycho. Psycho, Psycho was there around too. It's Dude, iconic, it yeah. And people are another, rediscovering. Yeah, like when you that. put it in that content where you go at the era of time, I think they weren't seeing films like these certain. I think. These I films. think. I think in my and and I think in my opinion, or even on things that I've read, I think with Halloween, I think it was just the way. I think it was just the way it was made. That kind of. I think it was just. The more popular movie that came out 
Like, it was the movie that came out that everybody gravitated the most to. Like, I mean, yeah, Psycho's popular, Texas Chainsaw Massacre was great, but Halloween was one of that movie that they felt like, okay, this is that movie that's going to kick. Like, it, it was something about It that introduced movie. the Scream Queen. It, it literally was like yeah, the introduction yeah. of the Scream yeah. Queen and, and then, the final and you had John And you had John Carpenter scoring the fucking movie, which he's a fucking... And dude, like, he's how amazing, can you, dude. How, like, can you beat, how, can you beat, how can you beat this? The title. Exactly. It, it, it resonates. Like you said, Texas Chainsaw, right? You go watch, oh, I want to see the Texas Chainsaw, but then you see a movie called Halloween, and you're like, wait, we fucking celebrate that. So that's a holiday that's we celebrate. Right. Wait, yeah. that's a movie? Based yeah. on and then, and sure you're like, Thanksgiving oh. comes out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, you know, it, it really sets it up because, like, you get all the pumpkins, you get the feeling of autumn yeah. and Halloween, you know, and I love films like that that really set you in that mood, and, yeah. and, and like, you can smell, you know, Halloween, like, when Halloween comes around, the air just smells differently and it feels differently. Right. You know, spices in the air. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Motherfucking pumpkin spice hugs. I am a basic bitch. I Dunkin' every morning. Hey, <laughs> I love the pumpkin spice shit. I drink the beer. I, whatever, dude. You got it. Uh, <laughs> true story. Fucking Danny Phil. That's one of the things they requested when they got there this morning was pumpkin spice coffee, dude. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's like crazy. fucking satanic metal band drinking yeah. fucking spice surprised. and eating Chick Fil A. I thought he was I'm... supposed to drink vodka and blood, <laughs> right? No, well he also fucking his problem. old as shit. Both Sound like a pussy boy to me, boy. Fuck that. Hey, rock stars aren't <laughs> who they used to be. <laughs> yeah, no. No. and he's only like as tall as Cobra. He's a very small dude. Mm. I'm not small, motherfucker. What are you talking about? <laughs> so we got shorter than me. We got a lot of figures. That's from, because from you're Michael fucking Myers. Sasquatch, motherfucker. <laughs> exactly. If you're shorter than me, you're small. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am only like five nine. I see that joke goes over your head, way over, your head. <laughs> about eight inches higher. <laughs> So we got a lot of figures for for Halloween. We got quarter scale figures. We got one six scale. All kinds of good shit, man. And like e even every year, NECA comes out Whoa. with a new version because of all the <laughs> David Gordon Green movies coming out. You know, or they're done with that. But yeah. now they're even pushing Halloween for a series. You know, yeah. uh, a bunch of other shit and like revamping yeah. a new trilogy. Dude. They can't let Michael Myers die. He's got to steal. We're gonna do Halloween the Boy, series. He, he clocks dollars. That's why we're gonna make Halloween uh, the series just like Friday the Thirteenth the series. Yeah. There's oh, gonna God. be a fucking Myers family member selling haunted antiques that fucking Michael Myers' <laughs> parents fucking made a deal what with they, the devil. That's why they're selling crazy. <laughs> what they need to do is re-release. On uh, on television, re-release Halloween ends and say, "Hey, this is not the sequel to Halloween Kills. This is a TV show. This is not part of the series. We're gonna really release the real movie because that movie should have been a fucking Halloween TV ends with the Save by the Bell of that shit." <laughs> I'm so glad that you guys warned me about that because I'm not gonna watch uh, it. Now. When I tell you, because listen, it's gonna I gotta ruin, watch it. it's gonna ruin Halloween Kills, bro. I enjoyed Halloween Kills. A lot I of people it. hated it. I loved it. I I mean, I don't know what the fuck people were expecting. I love the kills. It had some of the. It's amazing, bro. Because I'm some real shit. Like, I don't watch a lot of horror movies uh, at you all, really. You so watched I haven't the original. Watched all, I, I've seen the original. Mm -hmm. I think I seen like one part two or three when I was really really young in the theaters. Yeah. I seen the one. It's the one where he sh stabs homeboy with the shotgun. Okay. It's an older one, bro. I think, part I two think or that's, three. It's part three. It no, could no. be three because three has. I nine. mean, not three. Uh, it's, uh, it's five. Part, part it's five. Four. Are you sure? It's, it's got to be four or five. It's like it's that's the old one. one. I seen it in the theaters in the eighties, though. Yeah. So I seen that one, and then besides that, I just recently for on a fluke, let's watch Halloween Kills. I think it's because of the show. Yeah, it one probably of the, was because of the show. I told you to watch. And then it. I great. watched it, and it was amazing, bro. I was like, this motherfucker, Michael Myers, is. Fucking fool, dude. He oh. Jason Bourne's fucking that girl with the handgun, dude. He kicks that fucking I door. I love the she way him. they came like, up with the kill. I was like, John oh Wick. shit! <laughs> fucking John Wick. Yeah. <laughs> it was a Keanu Reeves. It's Keanu Reeves <laughs> under the mask. <laughs> and then the way he kills that couple in their kitchen is just fucking nah, great. Nah. The way she's like fucked up and dying, and then has to watch her husband get yeah. murked out while she's That's actually evil, man. 
check in out. And people and were saying like they weren't scared by this off. film. You can't get yeah. scared by by serial slasher films anymore. It's just not mm-hmm. possible, you know, this in this a, day and age. This is a 60-year-old man. This is a 50 plus 60-year-old <laughs> man doing all this, by the way. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so like I think one of the Liam things, Well, what I, I love I think I like Michael Myers I if I if I were to scientifically like say I would say yes, he's human, but something in his brain causes him to, like he cannot feel pain. He's a mutant. And and also, I think he's just like you know a woman and her baby's trapped in her car. She can use adrenaline and like pull that shit out. I think Michael Myers gets adrenaline from about to kill someone, so he gets superhuman strength from that adrenaline when he's about to kill someone. You know, these are all, these were always my best by best theories or the well, I want to say best ending for a Halloween Michael Myers movie and the best theory. The theory for me was always. I want to. I want to. I want you guys to reveal that the mass and the reason why he's kind of supernatural is because the silver shamrock from part three is really controlling See, that mass. That would I've, make always wanted, sense. I've always wanted that. I've always that would wanted make that. More sense. What's with the I blue glowing like, eye? You know, like and all yeah, that. Right. I, and then the ending for me was the ending that I always wanted is if you look at the newer movies, he always wanted to go home. There was always the talk about Michael always wants to go home. He just yeah. killing motherfuckers in his way, right? Why not just burn the fucking Michael? house down while he's in it. He's not gonna leave. So just burn just the let house. Let him fucking live there, man. Yeah. Let, him let him die. Let him die to this. Oh, Dude, the uh, like, me and Mike watched all the deleted scenes from Halloween. Uh, the one where he has the reality show in his his home. Buster Rhymes, dude. Oh, dude. Fuck, I hate that. That's it's the so one. That's the greatest it's, one, dude. It's the I worst hate. one. Buster Rhymes, oh. dude. Karate there's fucking Michael Myers, so, dude. Also, yeah, Michael Myers drives a lot in his films. He drives a station wagon. He drives a Mustang, Mustang. and then he gets a new Mustang in that one. A brand new fucking Mustang. In the deleted scenes, he pulls that Mustang up to his house. Then he kind of yep. steps out of the car and walks. Then he yeah, looks back fun. at the car and he bleep beeps the fucking key. Oh hell no! Yeah. Yeah. Beep, beep. The alarm. Dude, it's, that's beep, it. Dude. Beep, beep. Okay, they cut it out of the film, amazing, but on the DVD, dude. it's on the deleted scenes. I couldn't. I almost shit myself. And I, <laughs> at that time, I had never shit myself since I was a baby. <laughs> that's over yeah. now. But <laughs> like, I couldn't believe that. I'm like, good thing you threw that out. Who had the oh. idea? Look. Who had the idea to get Buster Rhymes ninja kick him into fucking lightning, you know, or the, the <laughs> control box? That was dumb. Yeah, <laughs> I could I could imagine John Carpenter's dick not getting up that night. He was just so mad. <laughs> after watching it. He's like this fucking bastard. Like he hated. He, like in all his interviews, he's like, "Well, the only movie I ever give credit to is the one I directed, and I'm the one that got money out of." I was like, the only thing that I love is the fact that I get money out of all those fucking movies that came out. I get money out of all of them because his he talked hell of shit about what is the oh, ACR or whatever the guy Rob, the producer Rob, Zomb- Rob Zombies like he fucking hates them. He fucking hates them. I, I mean, there was a better one. So first one, the good. first one, the first one first was pretty good. good. The I only like th- the only thing I fucking hate. Well, I don't hate it. The only thing that I don't like about any movie um, revolving about a villain, whether it's superheroes. I don't want to feel bad about a fucking. I don't want to feel bad about the uh, the villain. I don't want to feel bad about him. I don't want to. I understand the backstory. Even like Freddy versus Jason did that whole fucking scene where Freddy was like tormenting Jason. He was like a little kid. And I was like, he's use the water, of water, yeah. but he's in, but he's in water all yeah. the fucking time. Yeah. That made no fucking sense. Right, he hangs up the lake, dude. Well, they needed <laughs> something. You know, they needed something. Why didn't they just bring back his mom or a sweater or something? It's tap water. He doesn't like tap water. <laughs> he or doesn't. water. It's contaminated. <laughs> the, ultimate, the ultimate question of that is, uh, was it Friday the 13th, 8 takes Manhattan, dude? He guts off the boat and he literally walks, he walks. in yeah. the water yeah. all the yeah. way to fucking New York, dude. Right. Oh, yeah. Because oh, Crystal Lake God. is connected to, you know, the ocean somehow. <laughs> but, yeah. Hey, it's, it's, it's a Jason. We can film. take this charter cruise out of Crystal Lake to the fucking ocean across the. <laughs> fuck? Hey, he could he could have just had Michael Myers drive him there, okay? You know, like the hey, you know, love the scene when he you gotta love the scene where he's just walking down the street and he like shoulder checks that fool. He's like, yeah. Bap, get the fuck out of my way. Yeah. Like, and yo, <laughs> well, that's the best part of that Jason movie because it's all like Jason on a boat. The whole fucking movie, it's like a misdirection, like a bait and switch. You go in the theater, you watch this movie, you're like, yeah, he's going to fucking New York. This is gonna be great. And then you're like, dude, when is he gonna get there? <laughs> like, come dude, on. He killed nobody on the subway. He just chased the <laughs> couple down. Like, I think he's like, he's just he's never yeah, seen this shit before. Jason, he's, 
He's never seen a train or underground. He knows about underground tunnels because that's in, in the remake part nine, which I think is cool because it, it, it takes a one through four, puts them all together, uh-huh. and he's more agile, nimble, and killing yeah. fools. I, I like the remake of part nine. Well, well Fallen, after you mentioned the whole resurrection scene with uh, Michael uh, hitting the button, now I think... Uh, uh, Jason Takes My Hat is a phenomenal movie. I don't give a fuck if it took place on that boat. You mentioned that scene, and I hate the movie even more now. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like, what was Dude, that? It's the greatest scene. Michael Myers stole a fucking car and worried so much about it that he fucking tried to lock it up. Dude, dude. it was a brand new I, Mustang. I, I, it was. It was like a brand new sailing Mustang of that year. So I wonder who did product placement there. Right. Oh, uh, that, we did this scene with Mustang money. Well, they they, needed- they probably didn't pay, so they had to edit it out. You know? <laughs> See, they should have left. They should have left a scene in there with him driving the Mustang and listening to like fucking John Bon Jovi or some shit, <laughs> just nodding his head, yeah, driving the just- field. Ready to kill somebody, you know? Won't hit. Well, see, that's because, like, you know, Machete used to take Michael Myers out in, like, the station wagon and and listen to Bon Jovi, you know, and, and, like, you know, let Michael see things once in a while, you know, and then take him back, put him in a cell. That's what happened, man. That's how he learned how to drive. He's seen other people drive the station wagon. I was good to you. I was good to you, Michael. I was good to you. (laughs) So, oh, Michael Myers kill count, do you have an estimate, Toy Attic? Because you're the aficionado on this. Yeah, I want to hear this. Believe believe it or not, I don't have an exact number, but I'm... And this is all the movies. All the movies. Everything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say close to 200. I okay. don't think it's it surpasses anything like four or anything like that it's close to 200 because again i don't he only killed like six people in the first movie yeah and like it's like it's kind of like it's kind of similar to like i mean he did kill all those firefighters and you know he killed yeah, all that these, was like, devastating <laughs> oh fuck that, dude can i can <laughs> i just say that movies. i really fucking i really fucking hate how sensitive this world has become when <laughs> halloween kills came out when halloween kills came out they made this big fucking ordeal about well michael myers just killed a bunch of uh firefighters and he he murdered that couple in that 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 couple in the house i'm like you're mad about that but the bitch has been killing animals and kids and right all year since the 70s and you're gonna bitch about this dude and it's house. like look just because <laughs> like, he kills fuck? like a gay couple like that's he's including everyone he's a yeah, he's in he's the film come on he's he was just killing three white killed, bitches man. come on he uses he uses what was that shit uh he, he, he uses the proper methods he's like i'm gonna yeah. kill everybody why not yo gay people need to be, inclu- gay they people be included right? too, they want to be they want to be equal like everyone else so you get You're your get- ass included and get killed too <laughs> motherfucker Dude, and Big also John? Cal- Little John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I wonder if it's reverse, like how they fit into each other. Uh, nah. <laughs> like, look, <laughs> America. <laughs> also, America was burning down, especially California was burning yeah. down. Like everywhere, Washington yeah. burnt up. Yeah. You know, like so. I get the firefighter hate, but people who like not hate, but you know, the movie hate. Yeah, it's it was still really. I was uh, super surprised. I was like, I'm glad that they went with that just to spark. I think they did it just to spark controversy, or maybe they filmed it way before. It didn't know everywhere was gonna burn up by PG and E. You want to? <laughs> no, run they're trying room. to justify. Like right? sometimes, spark? sometimes assholes don't need to burn in a fire. You want to watch real struggle? Watch Tales from the Hood. Then you'll know it's Jonah. Oh yeah, <laughs> amazing movie. Oh, shit. Watch Tales. Watch I Tales got from the Hood. Shit right I got here. This oh, is the terrible. Welcome to hell, Mitch motherfucker. Loved it. Loved that movie. So Michael Myers' kill count stands at a whopping 165 for oh, all nice, his films. Nice. Very Close good. Yep, yep. Now, what? I mean, we talked a bit about Jason, you know, and uh, some of his movies. Man, man. And now Jason, like, he goes from, you know, not Jason, you know, from his mother. And I don't really <laughs> count those. But, you know, part two, when he finally comes and he's yeah. human in this um, and he doesn't become a zombie till later, you know, when he becomes yeah. zombie Jason or dead. I guess it's confirmed that he's a dead or a dead form Jason, of a dead yeah. you know, because yeah. of that. Well, they had the, the worst they had movie the of all time. Dagger. Yeah. yeah. When Jason goes to hell. They had that same dagger from fucking and the, Evil Dead. And and they they had, the, Necronomicon. The book, was in there, the book was in there, too. Yep. Yeah. The book was in there. Yeah. 
You know, and also Freddy versus uh, Jason, they did want to get Ash involved for a sequel. Yeah. Bruce yeah. Campbell wanted nothing to do with it. He was like, <laughs> he no, he took a look at like some scripts and stuff, and he was like, well, and, and him and Sam Raimi only have control over Ash and nothing else, yeah. you know, that would yeah. go into the script. And it's like they didn't want to do it. They're like, this is this is just bad. And this was at the time when New Line Cinema owned Freddy and yeah. Jason, so it was a good time yeah. to do it. But nobody would do it, so they made it into like you know a, a comic book for Dark Horse comic and book, DC yeah. involved yeah. and shit like that. But yeah. yeah, we never got Ash versus Jason versus Freddy, which would and have been was comical. supposed to be a pinhead. There was supposed to be like a pinhead uh, cameo in the end of the movie. Okay, and they were supposed to like eventually it was supposed to like you said it was supposed to be like a movie, but like they ended up not squashing all that and ended up pushing it into comics. That's why you got the comics. Yeah, cool. which the comics were so bad. they need to bust like. The Expendables movies <laughs> and put all these all, all the killers movies, in a kill, in a movie. They've done it, and then they're flying around and playing. They've done it. Yeah, they've done oh, it already. Doing, Just uh, the, fucking they missions, dude. And shit, they've had Gunnar Hansen, all these people chopped up, like all in the same fucking movie. Yeah, smothered. Yeah. Um, there's one called like uh, the flight from hell or something like that, and they're they're all the killers, you know. I mean, they're not Jason and Freddy, and but they're all on a fucking plane, kind of like you know Con Air, and then there's it crashes called, and they kill everyone. You know, it's not. There's good. one called Smother where there's yeah. one called Smother where it has the guy that played fucking I think the original Michael Myers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bill Mosley plays like a Freddy Krueger knockoff, and it's another one of the Leatherface guys, and. He's playing like a, a retard type, you know, go figure. But they get killed by a chick with big fake titties. Like, she smothers them with her titties. and was, shit. So there was uh, another movie that had, uh, like, all the killers in it, too. I think it even had yeah. Andrew Divoff, you know, in it, who, who plays Wishmaster. But we watched it at your house, Mike. And it was about some, like, Halloween theme park that they were kind of controlling. But they lived in a camper outside controlling the theme park and it was really terrible though none of these guys can really act outside of their horror characters because they don't really talk you know <laughs> it's that was the one that was that was smothered that was smothered yeah. okay it was terrible though. yeah or i think, <laughs> I think it's because it, i think it's because they fucking went to like a horror con or whatever and then they they all need money and then they they got to pay to appear at what was supposed to be like a haunted like playground it was like but it was just these crazy white redneck bitches it's just like some of these horror dudes murder. like think like they're so good and they keep continuing making these really crappy shit after their original shit was great you know like yeah. um fucking what's his name who he did the score and acted in it and and wrote parts of it but uh what's his name um Wes Craven did the original uh Last House on the Left but uh yeah, yeah. what's his name who plays the main guy in it of the gang fucking i forget his name david hess and yes. he did all the these hess. other like Ten Thousand maniacs and stuff and all these other movies that were just fucking mm -hmm. awful man yeah and i that dude was fucking awesome man i loved all his music and everything and they even reused his like music in cabin fever you know which was mm -hmm. really cool um so back to jason hey, back to jason man so we got a lot of movies here there's at least 12 I think there's 12. Mm. And so we're not counting fan films, which I know there's a bunch, you know, and some of them like are actually pretty decent. But mm -hmm. and even with figures, man, we got a lot of good figures of Jason. Not really any like new NECA like uh, stuff coming out, except for that part seven. Yeah. That's a beautiful figure. It's a fucking amazing cool, figure. Dude. I love should've, it. Should have been a should have been a quarter scale also. It should have been. And maybe it should have been a fucking quarter. I hope it's a quarter scale. It needs to be. And also, like, I think the lawsuit uh, is over yeah. now between, like, uh, what's Sean Campbell and the other dude. Yeah. So, and I think they've kind of, like, made up a who owns what, who owns Jason, who owns Friday the 13th. So, hopefully yeah. we get some Jason films in the work. Something going, we, you know. We need to get Derek Mears back as Jason Voorhees. He was fucking dude. dope. Yeah, I want to see a sequel to he that. Was fucking dope. <laughs> I want to see a yeah. sequel to the reboot, man. They they like, had they had really plans good. for a reboot, but with all the fucking lawsuits, they fucking can't. They got to bring in. They I loved how they incorporated part one. Like they didn't have to give you Pamela Voorhees origin. They gave you that little bit, 
Yeah. And they just gave you one, two, and three, and they meshed it. And they did it so well. Yeah. And like making them smart and just yeah, making it. them like, you know, I love bro, the scene I, where he's like sharpening the Jason machete. Jason was running up on motherfuckers like linebackers. <laughs> Dude, like yeah. when he had the, the sack mask and he like kind of yeah. rolls out of the way and gets into like this ninja stance. Yeah. And then he yeah. rushes for it. I was like, oh, fuck, All Jason. Was, yeah, that shit was ill. All he was was a weed farmer who wanted to be left the fuck alone, man. <laughs> that was it. And they explained he's why. Like, because he, he's ex- like, fuck off. They explained Jason why Abbott. he can like travel so fast because of tunnels, which I don't think tunnels yeah. are you're gonna get there quicker. But you know, still makes sense. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. I can see Jason like like rolling up like Michael was hitting the butt and so like, yeah. and, like when they're <laughs> right. like, Jason's on the car rolling and Michael's like checking his windows, making sure it's his for his fucking cataracts, shit. bro. Jason's got that <laughs> one bad eye, dude. It's for his cataracts. He's like, look, man, <laughs> I, I, I didn't die. You know, I, I drowned a little bit, but then I swam the shore. I forgot everything. I just been living in a shack and growing weed. You guys fuck with me now. <laughs> yeah. And then for some reason in part five, when it's not Jason and he kills the townspeople for no reason who weren't even involved with his kid's death and his kid, he wasn't even involved with his fucking kid. So no, it, it makes no fucking sense, but it is one of my favorite That's movies. A, it is. Oh, it had, it had like, I'm telling you, what was her name? Ethel or the, the old lady in the movie was my fucking favorite in that whole movie. In part five? She's like she, In part five where she has. The, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the one that she had the little the son with the uh with the little dirt bike and she would ride and she was like, yeah. oh, oh, they hurt me. You talking <laughs> yeah, about like he's look. he's a kid, dude. He's he's like, you know, the uh, the fucking like crazy dude man. actor now, like you know, the the dude who like kills the aliens in Independence Day. Like yeah, who, yeah, what's his name? 40. Like Shitter's full guy from the yeah. like, Christmas movie. Yeah. He looks like I, that guy. I fucking love him. I love that movie. And then part like, five is like part three of Halloween. Fucking right. Bro. My favorite is the the one Those where Those darn enchiladas. Where Tommy goes back and and stabs him with the joint and the lightning hits him. That's, Bow! that's zombie alive. Jason. Yeah. That's the Bro, that stuff. fucking movie is great. All the kills are dope. The soundtrack's dope. The yeah. little bitch is hot. I like it. I like the <laughs> joint. He takes this bitch and he puts her face through the fucking uh, trailer. The yeah. the RV, yeah, yeah. Push it and you see the imprint come through the side of that shit. A lot of people love that movie. The best. Driving the joint, like, hey baby, get the pussy ready. I'm gonna pull <laughs> over and fuck you in a second. And homeboy comes with the joint, and yeah, right yeah, in his yeah. fucking head, bro. Yep. Like, who is this? I mean, I get it's Jersey, right? You know, and this guy's like, hey, <laughs> we're gonna pull over and fuck. <laughs> Go get some hey. smokes and road beers. Hey. hey. Yeah. Forget about it. And Jason's like, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> it was like, not that time, Jersey. But it's like, hey, so motherfucker, you. only, bu- that only one, bitch motherfuckers getting poked is you. The felt yeah, dog was the- supposed to come back and be in that movie, but he couldn't do it because of like Stand By Me and shit was going on. Yeah. So yeah. they had him film an early scene <laughs> in his own mm-hmm. backyard. You know, that opening scene. Yeah. They filmed it in Corey yeah. Feldman's backyard. <laughs> well, what's also good about that movie is he actually, Jason, after he comes alive, mm-hmm. he takes the fucking like uh, metal out of his chest and he uses that for his first two kills in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. The people in the in the Volkswagen. Yeah. Yeah. He in the fucks car, homeboy yeah. up with that bitch ass <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I love how they like it's in one of those movies like Scream where they break the third the the fourth wall and they're driving and the first thing that she says to him she's like I why he says I watched not enough horror movies to know that any man standing in the woods at this time of <laughs> night you know, I'm, yeah. I'm like why the fuck are you even there just turn the fucking car around why is yeah. that going? <laughs> they got but like they kept driving and it's like well they ended up getting stuck in the mud too so yeah like, yeah yeah. yeah. It's those, like, oh. it's those darn enchiladas. Ooh, baby. Yeah. Ooh, Why you don't baby. take a fucking Volkswagen Dude. bug on a dirt fucking road? If my wife road, like, or girlfriend came up to me while I'm in a tin house shitter and starts <laughs> singing to me, like I'm like, this is weird, okay? I got poop coming out of my butt. Those darn enchiladas. Like, like this is some slop. This ain't solid, yeah. okay? I don't need you to hear this, <laughs> okay? And I'm not going to sing back. That's, that's so fucking weird. I... I I just love that movie for how weird it is, and it makes no I, sense. Well, I will say, Why, part five, I will speak to you back as you're taking his shit. Find a woman that way and keep her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude. Bro, but, he, he, he takes the sheriff, and he breaks that motherfucker in half. 
He makes yeah. it into a, 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 a Bro, hot that's pocket. That's a great one. Come so on, guys. That's Jason a good one. That's a is good very thing. inventive with his kills. Very inventive. And that one, bro. yeah. He'll take a belt and a stick and so wrap what, it around your face. Then, right? That's part six? Yeah. Yeah, yeah part that's, six that's, that's, right, yeah. He'll bash that's you in a sleeping that, bag. Like, dude, Jason, like. Sleeping bag kills are always the best, dude. And you also. Like, when he pick that motherfucker up and just smack him against the tree. Jason feels <laughs> yeah. no pain and he doesn't. You can't even move him back. You can hit him with a chair and it'll just break. You know? Yeah. It, he doesn't even, like, move back. Like, you can kind yeah. of fuck mm -hmm. him up a little bit, but he. Dude, he basically just stands there. And especially when he's zombie, you know, you you can't fuck with them. Yeah, the only thing you can do is chain them up and throw them in a lake. Catch the fade with him, though. In part yeah, eight, part eight yeah, try yeah, to yeah, catch yeah. the fade, just <laughs> bringing throwing at him like, yeah, Jason, whatever. Yes, yeah. I'm a I'm a little bit of the opposite. Although I love how creative he was when he was zombie. If you remember the final chapter, how fucking much of a savage he was. Like that scene where the guy, the doctor, the nurse from the morgue was trying to fuck the girl inside the morgue but then she left because she got scared and he's like sitting and his, he's watching like the girl's exercise he's like oh no and then like Jason grabs his face with the fucking saw and like fucking twists oh, his head like he was yeah, a fucking yeah. savage even yeah, killed the girl yeah. the, the fat girl with the with the banana in her mouth <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> right I remember that it was like oh what a way to die yeah <laughs> All right, Red so Red what's Red up? Red. I I got I guarantee I guarantee you got this kill count wrong, yeah. bro. How how would I get it wrong, dude? I searched multiple sources. Now the numbers do stagger a bit on sources, <laughs> but I picked the best one. <laughs> okay, so hit us with it. So his kill count right under Michael Myers at one sixty three. Michael Myers had one sixty five. Wrong. Jason X, dude, wrong. he killed a fucking space station. Dude, dude, fuck no, no, but he nine. was frozen no. for like you know. Hella years, and they so like what? and no, Jason no, no, X. No, 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 they no, no, even no, no, made no, no, hockey no, no. illegal. No, 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 so no, no. he was frozen for Jason hella long. Movie, dude. This is a Jason movie. I'm counting that. It was Jason Voorhees, and he caused that space station to blow up. With that probably had a hundred thousand people on it. No, bro. no, it was a it was a, it was like it was, a planet of people. On it wasn't there. a planet. It was a spaceship that was uh, held kids who were training to be medical people. Yeah. Dude, there was tons of there was hundreds and thousands of people. Was on there? Thing. Was there? It was huge. We didn't watch, see that many watch people Jason on there. Let's X fucking again. Deep Space Nine, bro. Yeah, watch Jason X again, bro. Okay. Or Patrick Stewart and his. I actually crew. tried to watch it recently. I was at work and had nothing going on. I, I tried oh, to, and I, I fell fuck. asleep, so I missed the end. Like, and I know, dude. I, I when I first initially saw that movie, I saw it in Vallejo in the hood, dude. Nothing but black people in there. No, and, uh, look, yeah, it was like it. it was like no. watching wrestling. We were all chanting and cheering and yelling and like watching Jason X in the hood was was fucking phenomenal, dude. Like nice. I, it was like watching WrestleMania. It was great. I think I think it's a I think the kill count. Although it's it seems because we're so used to Jason murdering so many fucking people, I think the kill count is accurate because yeah. from what I've seen in sources and even in things. Pinhead Hellraiser has a higher kill count than Jason does yeah. right now. And so, since you know what it is? It's just Jason is so fucking popular that you don't even, like, who thinks of, like, I mean, although there's a fan base for Hellraiser, those are, like, the main, when you think of the route Mount Rushmore of horror movie, you think how, Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, and you think uh, Leatherface. Those are, like, for me, yeah. at least, those are my route Mount Rushmore. I think they even talk about his kill count in Jason X. They do. Yeah. Yeah. They say, uh, but they talk about. I don't think he had. Well, the Google official count on the Jason X, they only say 25. So they're not counting this Deep Space Nine. No. <laughs> they're not counting that shit. Like, See, I, I, well, that's what I made me love Jason X so much because not only was it a sci fi movie, but um, it it was like. They they put it in a real or reality like he mm -hmm. was real. They were like, yeah, this really happened on Earth, right? Yeah, you know. And then they got him and all this shit, and he was worth money and shit. So when I seen that that thing blew up, I was like, it was basically the I, plot of Aliens. It blew my mind. I was plot. like, bro, that's his biggest kill ever you, because you, he actually killed like a city. You, you imagine? You imagine if Jason like was real and we had Jason now? 
like and we go to space and it's like what is the worst thing on earth and we don't say and nobody says covid they said no jason is the jason, worst thing yeah. Dude, yeah. what if what if like some weird alien planet has their own jason you know and we find that oh fuck they pro- we're fucked they probably do yeah, yeah. Somewhere. and they send it out well, what space they, so we what can get if it the alien planet can't stop their jason so what they do is trap them and put them on a rocket and they send his ass in space like <laughs> fucking Superman, and his bitch ass lands here. Right, we're fucked. Yeah, fucked. that's like that's like fucking having the machines take over here that's and like fucking I'm going to Doomsday, a, man. Alternate universe looking for John fucking Connor. Like that's somebody the Doomsday find, fucking somebody origin. Somebody find John Connor. Nah, we need to like John Connor's machine. stealing drugs from like the the fucking animal <laughs> clinic, dude. He, he, oh he ain't there God. yet. He ain't ready. <laughs> He's snorting not Roxy's in the back of a fucking uh, bed. Oh man! Have and you, you call guys ever been Bois, to Stop and Shop? And seen the scanners? Yeah. <laughs> you guys ever seen the scanners at Stop and Shop? Yeah. Like every time I see those fucking scanners, I'm like, we're gonna have like Judgment Day really soon. Like these fucking machines are gonna take over. <laughs> they oh, are, yeah. dude. They're gonna fucking oh, yeah. AI, dude. Gonna, bro, yeah. okay. So I see AI is dude. gonna write Hoodcast episodes. They already so got the blue. We're not even gonna be here anymore. Hey, you guys have seen those robot dogs, right? With the, they're like yellow yeah. with the funny legs, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I seen a video. Of this guy is doing a video, bro. It's ill. He's like this. <laughs> He's showing already how to take that fucking thing out. Mm. He's like the batteries here and the CPU is here in mm. in the body and He's, the batteries in the back. He's a prepper. And he's like this round will fucking take out that CPU. He's like anytime you if you know like already getting us ready to know how to take it. What if the Tomorrow, there's 20 of them coming down your block with 100 robots behind them, and there's a big announcement. And, Everybody stay in your and house. Meanwhile, you're worried about notice. which Mezco you're going to buy next. That's going <laughs> to help you out, dude. <laughs> right. Dude, so in, in, the, in the future, we'll be like, we'll be able to trade our figures for like fucking tools and weapons. Like, dude, let me cross yeah. this bridge that you control. I got this Mezco Leatherface. It's you know, it will figure right. of the year in 2023. So I'll trade God, it to you. Good. <laughs> the Spider Man's gonna be worth like a million rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> like that's like the big Christmas gift for their kid. Dude, like nobody wipes their ass Spider Man. You could trade Storm collectibles for blowjobs and shit. I don't know if it's from a guy or not, but you could trade it for a blowjob. Dude, well, in the, the future, the, you won't at know the end anymore. Of the world, does it really matter if it's a guy or girl? <laughs> yeah. A blowjob's a blowjob at this point. Yeah, at this point. <laughs> Just don't look at me. No eye contact. So it's not yeah. weird. All right. And let's let's move on to Freddy Krueger. All right. Yeah. So All right. he's had. He killed every kid in Haddonfield. Or, uh, <laughs> in Haddonfield. Yeah. He did. He probably did. Too. He killed every <laughs> he kid in Haddonfield. He killed pretty much everybody in There's an Elm Street in every town the, now. So. Survival pick. Here. Like they yeah. had Roseanne and Tom Arnold walking up to those kids when they got to the town. They had a fucking carnival and not a kid in sight. Dude, yeah. I went to the Vallejo Fair recently, or, you know, within like a year or two. And it was exactly like that fucking fair with with Roseanne and Tom Arnold. Like it was crazy. There was no kids. It was just like really poor and crappy, and things were falling apart. I was like, "Wow, dude, this is like Freddy's dead." I feel weird. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love right, so Freddy's Dead. Freddy's Dead was actually I, the first Freddy film Freddy I Dead seen good, in theater Dream as a kid. Come on, guys. Dream Warriors. That, Dream Warriors, to me... Well, I mean, the original, because that's the dope shit. I am the Wizard like, Master. Yeah, bro. The and then he's like... Master. Bro, I, I... Like, I always had this theory that Freddy was the illest killer of them all. He didn't need... He had this built-in <laughs> weapon, right? So he never used anything else but his but his cleverness. He was and, spontaneous. He and, had a lot of personality. He was cold on a bitch. He was cold on a bitch. He'd be like this, bro. He'd be like, "Nah, bitch, you die." And you know, you gotta think like Like, you're in a dream. You can do whatever you want, whatever you want. The greatest line, yeah. And plus, what do you think Freddy's doing when he's not killing people? He's not entertaining himself. When he kills people, he's got to entertain himself. He's gonna make himself laugh. You know, he's this motherfucker will will, this motherfucker will turn himself into a toaster. And kill you and be like, let go my ego, bitch. <laughs> Ad placement. You, <laughs> you forgot the power glove. Yeah. <laughs> like he, remember the one joint where he was the motorcycle? Yeah. 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 
He's like, let's ride oh, some shit. And then the water tub, the tub, uh, the water bed. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing, like, though. You know, when you pull Freddy into reality, he's nothing but a bitch. He just, <laughs> yeah. he's nothing but a well, bitch. Like, Unless he's in Freddy vs. Jason and he's like fucking, <laughs> he's like fucking. He's, uh, in the reality. he's, he's, he's fucking, like yeah. John Claude Van Damme. He's like John Claude Van Damme. Yeah. He's, he's like fucking he's flying cut. jump kicks and shit, looking like a fucking Power Ranger. He's totally, cutting totally gas John. bottles and shooting missiles and and, and stabbing and. Uh, what, his the origin story though is so dark with him being a child molester. Well, the we he, don't know that well, though. We didn't know that in the, in oh, the original. We know that on the remake. The remake the was remake. so fucking blatant about it. Yeah. 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 So, uh, They're like, here's a guy that you love, and now we're going to ruin him. <laughs> yeah. I remember he used to take me down to the basement. What did he do to us in the basement? And, oh, oh you want to see a new Freddy? You yeah. want to think we're going to do something new? No, we're going to do the same exact scenes, but badly. Where he's yeah, holding yeah. his glove low and scratches the wall. And it's, yeah. it's the same Long fucking, arms. except for like like everything that looks in the dream world looks really bad. It's really bad. Mm-hmm. That I tried to revisit that movie three or four times to say, okay, mm-hmm. let's give it another chance because maybe there's some merit here. There is not. There is they took nothing. The theory, they took the saying where I said that I don't like people giving me the villain, making me feel bad for the villains. They took that to a whole nother level. Now I really fucking hate this guy. So if I didn't like him before, now I really hate him. I can't watch the movie. Well, I watch also, it the victims like, and the survivor girls, yeah. like, there's no character to them. Nobody, you just no. don't care. It's like, so yeah. I want to see these people die, but also I don't give that a shit about Freddy, sucks, and right? he looks like a stupid alien. It had its, yeah, it no had its moments, but it's like, it's not it's not one of those strong, it's not like the Texas Chainsaw reboot or the Friday yep. the 13 reboot. It didn't right. have It that. doesn't measure it could have. It could have done, they could have done so yeah. much better. I didn't it. like it. What do you and, think? And I was excited because I was like, oh, dude, the guy from fucking Watchmen is playing. Yeah, I thought Watchmen. that was a good idea, too. But, yeah, Warshack uh, was going to uh, play no, Freddy. No, 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 no. From the get-go, once they said it was that dude, I was like, oh, fuck no, dude. <laughs> I'm like, I was like, he was cool as Warshack. What's his name? No, Jackie, like Jackie something? I forget, <laughs> but... So did he use? Did he even use makeup, or is that like his real face? Like, did, did he, <laughs> like we don't need, we don't need like burns. You're, so you're they <laughs> they tried to make him look more like a real burnt victim. They looked at yeah. real burn victims, and they did make him really evilly looking. Yeah, yeah. He had the and then fucking they, jaw they go, "This is going to be mouth. too evil for censors. This has to be PG thirteen, so we get all the money." So they dumbed it down, made him look more like an alien. Yeah, it, God, it, he looked terrible. It just sucked. What do you he think about? Like nuts, yeah, I didn't. I was. He did look like Voldemort. He who shall not be named. Oh yeah, fuck! Yeah. We're fucked. <laughs> but uh, what do you think about Robert England saying that Kevin Bacon should reprise the role? I'm down, dude. I think, dude, yeah, why not? Kevin dude. Bacon now looks like Freddy. He does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, and plus, that dude's like, he's an expert dancer, man. Like, he know he's got movements, man. He's just, he's kind of just too old, man. Nah, he I'm going to go it. ahead. I'm going to go ahead and say William Defoe. If you change William Defoe's um, look, like, he has that look. No. I'm going to go, well, I'm going to go, believe it or not. Hey, believe it or not. Like, he might be the one because. He might be the one to actually do a great job. I, I'm going to say nah. William Defoe. I, I think, think you he would be the right that did the remake. <laughs> He'd be as bad as Rorschach. No, I don't think so. Well, I mean, like, I'm, a, I'm script, a Defoe fan, like, but I, I, I want to put him in that. But here's Defoe like, though. Kevin Bacon works. I'd put Dane Cook, dude. Defoe, fucking Dane Cook. Defoe yeah, doesn't go here. on. Defoe makes up some of his own verbiage, you know, for films and shit like that, and the shows is he on. He doesn't go just straight off the script. That's why I think he would be kind of brilliant as Freddy because he'd make his own jokes and mannerisms. He wouldn't do Bro, Robert England. He'd do his own thing because that dude is fucking hands, nuts. Hands down, Robert De Niro. You looking at me? You looking at <laughs> oh me? Oh, my God. Oh, Robert cool De Niro guy. now. <laughs> <laughs> I made you dream, boy. <laughs> Listen here, Falker. <laughs> hey. All right, kill drink. count. What do, we, what do right. we got there? Freddy kill count. Uh, it is as follows because only with a whopping 63 kills. You wow. know, but it, he can only kill people in dreams, man. So it's like one at yeah. a time, you know. Dude, 
All the people on fentanyl, dude, if they redid Freddy Krueger, dude, you can kill the whole fucking city. <laughs> They'd be killing mad motherfuckers. You can kill yeah. a fucking wait, wait. city block in like a heartbeat. But those people are already dying. That's kind of cheating. <laughs> so? You so don't care. You you no, made the, this easy, bitch. The news yeah. would be like they have scratch marks all over them, but they died of fentanyl first. And Freddie yeah. would be like, damn, yeah. damn, damn, damn. damn. And, then the city damn would, and then the city will give them the key to the city because they got rid of all the fucking <laughs> dope all Freddy Cougar. Freddy Cougar. He cleaned up all the dope beans. All right. I'm, now he's the uh, hero. I'm, I'm, I'm voting for Cobra. <laughs> my vote is in. This is sounds you know, like a plan. Freddy the best plan I've ever heard. Councilman, motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> District Attorney Freddie. <laughs> yeah. No, the new Speaker of the House. Yeah. The <laughs> mayor, bro. He cleaned up the streets. Hey, we're going to war against the Just walking around in dreamland. <laughs> he took, he took the rainbow flag out of school. And now, one after another. So I mean, Freddie's plan. Freddie. Freddie Krueger. Freddie's plan is I like this. They were already dead. <laughs> All these like drug addicts are like, where can I get this fentanyl? He's like, every town. Has an Elm Street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, all of a sudden, all the ghettos in America, because there's <laughs> millions of Elm Streets, they all turn into ghettos. I'm sorry, we got to lose a few people who own houses yeah. and shit. Sorry, but yeah. you're you become yeah. a ghetto now. <laughs> Freddie's the man, man. Now, so, what would be Freddie's slogan for uh, for his campaign? <laughs> Welcome to prime you- time, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> dude, make America prime again. Now we're playing with power. No, he'd be like, he'd be like, I'm tough on the homeless. I'm creeping while they sleeping, dude. And when he comes out for his campaigns and stuff, he comes out to like Alice Cooper, like, "Welcome to my nightmare." <laughs> He's like, "That's my dad." <laughs> he played my dad. Uh, Freddie's fucking dope, man. Yeah, he's the best, dude. And that's why they can't let Freddie die. You know. No. Someone's got to be able to take this mantle because we got My- Myers, we got Jason, and they're mm-hmm. all Chucky. You know, and once they lose the voice of Chucky, once fucking Brad goes, w- someone's going to have to replace Dude, that voice. You, you know, know thinking of Freddy Krueger, just think of it though. Like, what if Robert Englund actually did get into Star Wars and never did the Freddy Krueger movie and Mark Hamill did Freddy Krueger? Wow, that'd be something. <laughs> Uh, look, Mark Hamill is a great character actor. Like if you watch like that Netflix, the uh, Fall of the House of yeah. uh, Usher, which is all yeah. based on Edgar Allan Poe stories and stuff, but it's all about this yeah. pill empire and then you know death coming for everyone, which is it's really cool and inventive. But Mark mm-hmm. Hamill plays like the the kind of you know guy who gets things done for the rich business people, and he's never mm-hmm. played a role like this before, and he yeah. does a really good job playing this gruff voice guy, you know. Mm-hmm. So Mark Hamill's a really good character actor. You know, it was Joker and everything. Like, I think yeah. he could pull it off. And we His would be like, this Freddy's Giver. great, too. Guyver's great. Also. Just, think that. Yeah. Just think, though, if it would have worked out that way. Yeah. Like, if That's- they're like... Robert England is Han Solo. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, <laughs> Hell no, dude. He's too ugly. Like, holy shit. He's too I ugly. I would have been, been a Star Wars fan. <laughs> like, right. And you get Robert England as Indiana Jones. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. And then Robert England in that fucking The Fugitive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Air <laughs> Force One and shit. Clear and present <laughs> danger. <laughs> the Pelican brief. Song. <laughs> Bro, this motherfucker does lines of coke and gets fucked up and he goes, if I only had a done Star Wars, I would have been. I would have been. I would have been, been, been fucking paid for life. Fuck Harrison <laughs> Ford. He killed my career. <laughs> Motherfucking carpenter. All you have to do is build the fucking sets, but no. He's like, oh, we're going to get the fucking set design guy. Fuck him. <laughs> all right. But if all of these slashers, you know, and, and horror icons, do we want to add any more? I mean, you mentioned Psycho, you know, and like, I think a lot of people are rediscovering Psycho 2, which is a really mm-hmm. good film, also. Uh, yeah. I think the show wasn't bad, but it was yeah. uh, kind of forced on you with the storylines and yeah. stuff but yeah psycho two and three i think are pretty decent movies i i got a good memorable mention i, I will I also, i'll call them a memorable match i got a couple but my first one would be hannibal lecter 
Hannibal Lecter. Lecter. Is, uh, yes. Hannibal Lecter is yeah. a memorable mention. I definitely think he's uh I just like the way he was in the movie. He was just like yeah. you knew, good, like you, good, you know, yeah, he was great. And then um, the Anthony show Hopkins was the show it. was great too, man. I love yeah, the, the show. Was really good, yeah. The show was really really good. I enjoyed the show. Um, I didn't really like, really yeah. like the whole psychic cop bullshit because they do that in no, a lot of things. But no. you know, yeah. Uh, I the Havoc or Metal Face, yeah. Metal Face from like the Havoc series. I don't yeah, think I've which, seen any of those. There's like fucking six of those movies, and they got or four of them. They got one that's got to do that looks like Charles Bronson fucking fight a dude. <laughs> it's, it's fucking ridiculous. But I mean, that's like you just run of the mill, like inspired by Jason, just slasher. And it's got all those titties you need, Cobra. Yeah, lots of titties, lots of titties. Well, and death. a lot yeah. of these killers are, are inspired by Jason and Michael yeah. Myers, but a lot of them are Jason yeah. because they're just they're more brutal yeah. and like bulky guys. Yeah. Whereas I, uh, Myers is I not. Like to, there was the orphan killer too. That was another one that I yeah. put up okay. on there. It, it's had two movies. Um, the guy, the killers was Marcus Miller, and he mm-hmm. kind of was like a, a Michael Myers type, but he had personality and he kind of taunt people like. He would talk to him like how Pinhead would talk to people yeah. and do Bible scripture and shit like that. And it was like an insane slasher too, man. Yeah. Like, but it was all done like in a Christian church because he was a kid and him and his sister went to an orphanage after their parents died and mm-hmm. he was abused. It's a very independent film, but I mean, it's one of those films that people should go out and check. Like, great soundtrack. All right, and yeah. And it actually goes along with it, dude. It's so, like... Every nope. kill scene that has a metal song, like it totally fucking fits. So I, I mean, I, I got, I got throw in a classic too, and we talk about it here and there. Uh, me and you, Mike, uh, violent shit. Carl the Butcher Shitter. Carl I mean, the Butcher Shitter. Because he shitter, has dude. history with Germany not being allowed to have horror films. This guy just went and filmed his own shit on video camera yeah. and had some insane scenes. Um, yeah. Even though the you have to be really into horror to watch this stuff because it's really mm-hmm. bad. Yeah. But then, like, you know, <laughs> there's certain movies where it gets better filming and everything. Yeah. He even takes out yeah. the whole, like, uh, Yakuja or whatever. Yakuza. Mm-hmm. Yakuza. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, like, and, and brilliant fucking, fucking scenes. Like, like, I think that's part three or two. I don't know. But, like, there's some brilliant scenes with Carl yeah. the Butcher Shitter. And he's yeah. a, just a guy with a metal face mask who fucking rrr, rrr, and kills right. everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like yeah, Jason, you know. Yeah. We used it for uh, our fire festival video and shit uh, that we did. Like, I got a, I got two honorable mentions. Okay. Now, throughout this whole show, I've talked about how I'm not a huge horror fan, mm-hmm. but I do know some horror fans, and I think there is somebody we're forgetting to talk about. Probably the sludge in the lake. In Creep Show Two, that's but that's mm. like one part of one movie. Like that's, that's no a story. That thing, and that's the best that part of there Creep Show right Two. Now still eating motherfuckers that go in skinny dip. That's true, and that was actually like a Stephen King short tale. That's the only one they used. You know, they actually filmed yeah. uh, another one that they didn't put on Creep Show Two, and it was about zombie bowlers. But yeah. if you bought the deluxe edition, you got uh, a little comic book that came with the DVD that was about the zombie bowlers. Right. But is it Creep Show or Tales from the Dark Side that had the crate? That's you know, like Creep Show one. I, 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 the I, was creep. When I started, I, I said I had two honorable mentions. That was yeah. going to be my first, my first, my next one. Now, yeah. when I was a young gentleman, my mother took me to go see Creep Show in the movies. How and old are you, man? so I fucking um <laughs> yeah I'm an old fuck. So I made it through the first one, right? The mm. the zombie joint wasn't that bad. I got my cake. I got my cake, and I kind of was like, I don't really like this movie. You know, I was kind of scared, and I was kind of starting to be like, I was trying to pussy out. So then this the next is the one dude who comes, grew up to be like a gang banger yeah, kind of yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Dude. <laughs> You know, and slang then, and so drugs, the next murder people. Wide scared kids, dude. <laughs> the next one comes on. It's the crate, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm. Wa- it's going through. What's in the thing, box? You know, the ladies bitching at homeboy and all this shit and blah blah blah. And then the the guy finds the the, the 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 janitor fool finds it. They put it on the joint, and he fucking he's like, "There's something in here that's alive." He puts his hand in there, right? And when that thing pulls, pops out, and pulls him in. Bro, 
I was like, nah, 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 nah. I, I was like, I can't have it. I Look, ain't having this. Cobra's going to start throwing crying, in gremlins and shit, you know. I started crying, right? And right. My, mom is, my mom is like, well, she's old school. she was mm. tough, mom, bro. She was on some like, you know, shut up, yeah. shut up, you know, be quiet. You know, <laughs> I'm going to give you something to cry about, you know, type of shit. Mm -hmm. And then I tried to tough it out. Then... When they do, when they put the the bitch under the joint and he pops out and the mm. the screen turns purple and shit, it's like yeah, bro. <laughs> I got up and I bounced out of the theater. My really? mom had to go get me. Bro. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I no, got up and, like, ah, and I was gone, bro. <laughs> we never mentioned the so tall that, man. So that's oh, man, a fantastic. scary. Ass, that's a scary fantastic. honorable yes. mention. That yeah. Tasmanian yeah. devil monster. If yeah. you guys remember. It probably ate a lot of people before it got caught, and then it broke out at the end. So, so here's the thing: I'll, I'll, I'll throw in the creep because the creep tells all those tales yeah. because he probably yeah. made it happen. We're just throwing the creep because the creep, <laughs> yeah, he, like even though he looks different the from creep part is one, like part the two, of horror stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in part one, he's more bony, and part two, he looks more like the comic series guy. The comics, but, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, and then uh, the show, which was really good too. I, I didn't watch season yeah. two, but season one, I watched. I, I liked a lot of them. Yeah, creep show is great, right, guys? Yeah, yeah. We can't forget uh, Tim Curry's it, Pennywise, man. Tim Curry is a fucking. That's legend. epic. Yeah, that's, that's, I fucking that's... love. I want to say the new one because the new one is great too. I love the new. It. Yeah, but that yeah. that original Tim one Curry, was way creepy. Tim Curry yeah. is like you can put Tim Curry in anything. I mean, it's like I mean not now, but like you can put him in anything. <laughs> Dude, my, put my, out, he said my favorite Tim Curry role <laughs> is in. Uh, Tales from the Rocky Crypt. Miller picture show. No. Yeah. Tales from the Crypt. There's an episode where a traveling salesman is going door to door, and he goes to this house, and he's gonna sell him some broke ass fucking insurance or whatever. And every like every old person in this house, there's like an old couple, and then they have a yeah. daughter. Tim Curry plays yeah. every fucking role, and it is so creepy and funny at the That's same awesome. time. And they make like. The uh, the fucking salesman who it's that one dude he's he's on he's on hella movies and he's he's in uh, like Tim and Eric and shit like two Ed Begley Jr. is the salesman and he has to marry his ugly daughter who's also played by Tim Curry like and it's it's just a fabulous episode I think it's even on YouTube man watch yeah, that shit Tim dope. Curry Tales from the Crypt it's fucking great speaking yeah. of a uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show I'm supposed to be pulling off that for Halloween this year but dude I can't. I'm hoping see that not the not the transvestite costume oh, I was gonna say oh, I was gonna no, be the <laughs> what? What? trying to be Rocky oh. Oh. <laughs> dude uh, uh, some of the guys, some of the guys, they were like, dude, you got it. I have the whole, like, I, I, they got it on Amazon, believe it or not. They had the whole, like, surgical suit with the, with the, with the gloves and everything. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> I want to pull this off. And, we're, and everybody oh, I thought you were going to be the Adonis character. I thought you were going to be the Adonis character. Your body fits it just perfect. <laughs> no, you're going to be Rocky. Yeah, <laughs> you're perfect. Now you got to be perfect. Brad. Yeah. <laughs> nah, he's going to be the picture show, man. <laughs> the picture show. <laughs> fucking Pee Wee Herman in that fucking crowd on that shit. Oh, All Ruben. Man. He's I'm one of the transvestites watching the fucking operation thing. And Listen, that, that's right? a big Halloween movie, too. You know? Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, it's a big club movie, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you mentioned yeah, the tall man. The from, tall yeah, man fan yeah. 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 Reggie, yeah, Reggie Bannister and tall man. All right, yeah. no wait. Reggie's the hero, but I mean, the tall man, dude. He, hella movies or a few yeah. movies yeah. made no yeah. sense. No, it Pumpkin does head. make sense. Is Pumpkin Pumpkin he's he's Pumpkin doing work head. from like a ethereal realm, bringing in shit in and out. He's just he's doing his business. Fucking Jawas, dude. No, but he's yeah. making our dead people and making them into fucking Jawas. Yeah, but after he <laughs> drills their head out, he's them <laughs> there's some. Mean. I think there's some unknown reason that makes the world work. Because he's doing this, you know, and this little kid gets fucking involved. He's like, dude, what the mm -hmm. fuck are you doing, man? Get the fuck out of here, boy. Mm -hmm. You know, like he's boy. just. <laughs> boy. I, I think, like you know, the uh, underlining the the deep state knows about the tall man. They're like, he yeah. needs to do. He's an alien who can the contact dope -ass, the world. Uh, the dope ass four barrel shotgun, mm -hmm. custom made Resident, Resident Evil shotgun. gun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I remember watching those movies as kids, and I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, I don't yeah, know the what's first going one, on. Yeah. The it turns out, off. like, the balls collect the souls of the people. Mm -hmm. So, like, the dead souls go into the fucking little silver balls. 
and then he controls them. Like he's like a soul collector. That's gotta hurt, dude. (laughs) I was gonna say the werewolf and silver bullet. It's fucking dope. I love the priest. Oh Oh, shit! The the preacher you brought out. That's one of that's one of my that's one of like I want to say that's one of my top ten horror movies of all time. Get out there, shit! Fireworks. This motherfucker brought out silver bullet. Silver bullet, man. Silver bullet and um and Pet Cemetery, the original Pet Cemetery. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got the new one. Yes. I liked it. I watched I liked the new it. one. It was all right. Yeah. David David Duchovny, yeah, Mulder, yeah. and his so son from Vietnam. Is, it doesn't. Is it takes place in the seventies, but it's and then then like Jed Clamp or Jed is there, you know? Yeah. yeah it, so the kid that fucking stayed in the town because he has to watch the fucking cemetery. Is that gonna? Is that like the old man from the original movie? Like, yeah, he just sat there all those years drinking beer, smoking cigarettes like his dad. Yep. Hey, well, and then he got yeah. bored. And he was like. Lot All right, let me show you where this fucking cursed <laughs> land is real quick. A lot of history up there. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Don't want to go up there. Yeah. I hated the Great. remake of Pet Cemetery. That that shit didn't make yeah, any like sense. It. it was terrible, man. I feel like I feel I feel like it was kind of accurate to like the the story, was it? I think it was more accurate to the Stephen more King. So. Book. I think it was poorly edited more... together, though. They cut okay, out yeah. so much shit, and like some of the stuff didn't no. make sense from the cuts. That I they think would the. Do. Yeah, the Children original of the Corn remake sucks. You might be thinking Which of one? that one. No, the there's, the there's multiple Children of the Corn remakes. remakes. There's two. Well, <laughs> not. Yeah, there's two that came out in the same year, but there's like the, the major theater one, mm-hmm. and it was more mm-hmm. of like a woke thing. Is like the oil company is poisoning the corn. We have to fight for the environment, so we'll sacrifice <laughs> our grandparents to the Come corn. On. Dude, Somebody I call love the face. Pet, <laughs> yeah. Pet Cemetery Two does not get enough credit. Pet Cemetery Two is great, yeah. man. Like it had John Connor in it. It's got the it fur did. dog, bro. The fur dog, John- and also what's his name who like plays uh... the, the stepdad. The, yeah. The top. Oh, I got. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he's um. Oh, he's the guy that does uh the voice for uh, Lex Luthor in the anime. Yes, what's and his name? he's um, also like he's in Shawshank. Uh, fuck, yeah. I, I know his name. It's on. It's in Bad Boys with us. Uh, Sean Penn. Remember, he plays Gus Bad Gifford Boys? in that role, but he's fucking hilarious and evil as fuck, man. I. I I love Pet Cemetery too. I think it's great. Uh, I mean, it, Clancy, Clancy Brown. Clancy Brown. Clancy, now, Pet Cemetery Two doesn't have the impact of Part One, no, you know, at all. Know. But still, it's. Yeah. I think it's still a good right. film. Check this one out. What about Chud? Uh, cannibalistic, oh, cannibalistic <laughs> humanoid like underground, underground dwellers. dwellers. What about <laughs> Chud Two? <laughs> what about the stuff? I love the, the stuff. stuff. Mo Rutherford, then, uh, Chuck and Chip Charlie. I don't. I don't know if you guys ever watched this. It's a, it's like it's a horror movie, but it's not. There's not a lot of gore in it. It's called uh, Silent Rage with uh, Chuck Norris in it. It's an old movie. Oh, where he like, chases like this serial killer. Or whatever. It was like a serial killer yeah. that they kind of like yeah. remade him into like this. He could come back to life, and then the, he was like going. Why did I just dude, watch that shit on TV? I remember that as a kid, man. I, I haven't remembered that in years, dude. I, I have love that. I have that movie. I had. I, I used to kill that movie when I growing up because we used to do like it was big time movie time and Silent Rage. And I remember because I would never forget it was the blonde haired Chuck Norris at that time. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck Norris, not even in his prime yet. Chuck this Norris, wasn't so no like, sidekicks dude. bullshit, you know. <laughs> no, hell no, hell no, hell no, hell no, hell no. It was really Walker, good. Walker, no, Texas I Ranger, that. Chuck. Yeah, yeah. Dude, Silent I haven't Ray. thought about that movie. I used to love that as a fucking kid, man. Oh wow, man. man. <laughs> it's a great movie. But still, okay. So we mentioned a lot, but all these slashers, <laughs> horror icons coming together. Who reigns as number one now? And this is not set in stone. But I think we should come to a consensus on mm-hmm. who would just beat out everyone. And this could this could be based on merchandise, movies, the prowess, you know, mm-hmm. everything all encompass. Who has the bigger fucking scale of everything? It, it's it's a real hard battle between Michael Myers I, and Jason Voorhees. I'm, I'm going to give it to Myers. Because Myers has been selling us the same fucking figure for the last ten years, and we still buy it. <laughs> well, I mean, Halloween comes comes around every year. So when you think of uh, when you uh, Halloween, uh, nineteen seventy Halloween is the Christmas story for Christmas. It is it's for yeah. literally, yeah, it is. So we watch in that same in that same logic. 
we get Friday the 13th more than multiple once a times a year. Times. Yeah. Dude, and I remember as a kid, I'd go yeah, home and watch all the Friday the 13th on USA, you know, up all night. Yeah. You know, you watch the marathon, even though it cut Love out all the fucking shit. Up all night. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I love Friday the 13th. I think uh I think with the Halloween movies too, there's so much there's so much merchandise and there's so much for popularity with and again it's just the holiday itself once they put the brand and they made it the holiday that shits year round when you think of when you think of halloween you think of trick-or-treating but when you think of horror you movies or horror movies to watch you're saying i'm gonna watch the original halloween. Halloween. but look yeah. i would halloween say watch. i would say that there's halloween more merchandise the is there's more merchandise oh. of jason than i there think is. all of them you know, the hockey mask is so iconic, and I think it's more... That hockey mask was designed for a certain hockey team that they did not use, and they used it for Jason, and now that hockey mask blew up everywhere. It's And every kid knows mm -hmm. Jason, whether there's no movie or not. Every mm -hmm. kid knows. Like, and I agree too because a lot of uh, a lot of companies don't own the or uh, the rights to the original Halloween movie. They don't. So if you see, notice NECA does only Halloween two in the newer movies. He hasn't done any of the other ones. The only people that I can say that own the originals are Trick or Treat Studios. They're the only people that own the original rights. And some of the they own four five H two O. They have the fuck. Yeah, they own a, they own. So, they that's why I said five, the curse, like <laughs> fuck, dude. They have them all. But that's why I'm saying you're gonna get a you're gonna get a leather face figure pretty soon. <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> yeah. get that leather. You're gonna get that pretty soon. It's gonna happen. I'm telling you. It's oh yeah. Happen. And people, it's gonna sell out. People are gonna buy it. Well, like Trick or Treat Studios is making that Leatherface dinner table set, which they have Drayden yeah. Sawyer, they have Sally Hardesty, like the screaming girl, yeah. but like they haven't showed it off yet. They showed her from the back, but Sally's sitting yeah. there, you know. Uh, and okay, she, right. the, the yeah. actress is she died a couple years ago, but you know, yeah. rest in peace. Like that's I think her only acting role too. I, I don't know what else she's been in, but and she was great in that. I'm, so yeah, yeah I, I guess she might. I guess I guess the consensus should well Michael Myers then, huh? When it, I think Michael Myers when it comes to like like to me just when the, the Halloween when he, alone, dude. It's seasonal. He's, a, he's, like, the, epitome, he's, he's the epitome. It's of Christmas what story. It gives Halloween it a to guys to is yeah. like Nightmare Before Christmas is to women. Yeah. Like yeah. Halloween is our shit. They got their Jack Skellington. We got our fucking Michael Myers. So I'll put it like this. You know, we we uh, kind of like put the bout between Jason and Michael Myers of Halloween, Friday Thirteenth versus Halloween, and, and I'll put it like this, pretty simply, like the Jason movies, whether the Jason X or Jason the <laughs> Freddy or Friday the Thirteenth. There's maybe the first one stands out as being something new and something kind of fresh, even though it was ripped mm -hmm. off the original Halloween. Still, mm -hmm. not the greatest movie of all time. Whereas Halloween, the series does have its uh, uh, volleys and fallies and phalluses, yeah, yeah, and yeah. but there is gems in that. There is some yeah. like really good shit and really good scenes, you know. And it's not about the brutal killing; it's about the creepiness and the Halloween factor yeah. and the, the seasonal stuff. And yeah, you're right. So well, that's one. No, I was gonna say that's one of the things that I give the uh, Halloween. Well, I'm such a fan because I'm I'm a big Friday the Thirteenth fan. I love Jason Voorhees, but I think after watching the new movies, I think the thing that I love the most about it is that there's no real there's an origin story, but there's no real reason or motive for the things that he does. He just does things, right? He just has a reason to. You got Freddy, he has his reasons. You have Jason, he has his reasons, and he's just a character. He's kind of like the nun in a way, where it's like there's no reason to do things. You're just there. And you're just, but it's it's scary to think that a sixty plus year old man is fucking up five fucking firefighters who went through a physical a physical training. You know, and all this shit. it makes like, you think weird. though, like Michael Myers is Jason Voorhees with healthcare because he always heals. <laughs> Jason Voorhees just rots he's away. He's Michael Myers, up, yeah, heals legit. Here's the thing you know? though, like it, like so, Michael Myers is a dude in a costume, <laughs> and since I bought this house like during COVID. This is a big Halloween neighborhood because it's kind of like a, a cul-de-sac. It's 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 away from like the actual streets and stuff. So people yeah. put up Halloween displays. Now, when the kids go trick or treating, there's this thing, and I call it the thing. It's some mm -hmm. person that goes out and wears like this weird mask with a long maw, like open mouth mm -hmm. 
and it has like the long fucking hands that it puts on and it walks yeah. around and just kind of grabs people and will stand there and it'll stand in my front yard and stare into my window into my house <laughs> And dude, I, I've I've captured it on my ring, and it's some person in a costume, but it still freaks me out. Yeah, you know, it's some person doing this, yeah. and I know it's Halloween, you know, so I'm like, yeah, yeah. it's all warranted now. You can't do that yeah. on Tuesday, you know, uh, yeah. on December, and and just walk around doing that. Nah, we're gonna call the police. But on Halloween, that person can do that <laughs> dude, and freak he's people gonna out. Come in your butthole, dude. He's gonna sneak <laughs> in your butthole, and you're gonna be a detox. No, kill. I close that yeah. shit up. Dude. Halloween movie. <laughs> So I get the you Halloween thing. I get the Michael Myers. It's it's a dude in a costume, and he could be standing behind a bush just staring at you. And then all of a sudden, right. you you look back and because you're weirded out, and he's gone. Yeah. And, yeah. and then now it's he's in your fucking brain. When is he gonna return? Mm-hmm. Like I can't go to sleep easily right now. So yeah, yeah. We'll we'll coin the winner, Michael Myers. Yeah. The shape. The shape. You gotta give it to him. Gotta give it to him. Now in a fight, Jason Voorhees is gonna kick his ass. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> right. In a fight. Anybody that can survive in the wilderness that young and, and be able to do with stuff he does, yeah, he's gonna lose. See, Jason's just gonna be brutal and everything, while Myers is gonna be a little bit more cunning. So, you yeah. know. Yeah. And yeah. In, they're both inventive, but yeah, I Michael think Myers Jason's a little sloppy. His Mustang and drive away. <laughs> yeah. and Jason I knew, drive a car. I knew no, he'll just he'll spin. jump in the Mustang and lock it from inside. And Jason will be like, what the fuck? I can't get in. I don't even know how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> like doing this at the window and pointing at the window. <laughs> you know what? I kind of see Jason and Michael Myers having a confrontation. And then they're like, what's your favorite dinosaur? T-Rex. And then they're like, did we just become best friends? Yeah, do you want to go do karate in the garage? Wait, they're talking now. This is I'm out. <laughs> this is a Rob no, they'll sign. They'll sign Martha. <laughs> this <earth. laughs> oh, this is a Rob Zombie film. At the end, it says Rob Zombie. A Rob Zombie film. <laughs> they're talking to each other. Wait, hold on. Oh. Yeah, they, his wife is not present yet, so <laughs> <laughs> they got to play that fucking she fucking plays. song. Yeah. Well, shit. Let, let's oh. uh, this episode has gone long let's skip the news because fuck the news we'll just do it next episode we'll go to recent acquisitions and then uh the listener segment coming up the gang so with that recent acquisition Gonna sell it to you out the motherfucking bag Cause you hood cast for life Gonna be there, gonna take it real time Recent acquisitions what we picked up this week We'll start off with the uh, our guest, Mr. Toy Attic 17 Yo, what'd you pick up this week? Well, I picked up, um, I mean, I haven't picked anything up really this week But um, I honestly, uh, the last thing that I picked up was I was able to pick up the uh, New York Comic Con exclusive uh, Ghostface figure Okay That they were giving out NECA was, uh, had uh, two uh, exclusives they were giving out It was a uh, Glow in the Dark, Phantom of the Opera And uh, Ghostface Takes Manhattan with a couple of uh, different head sculpts the newer hair scope, it has the bloody one, it has the, uh, the stab one, it has the what's, pride color. What's different from the newer head sculpt? That, that's why I didn't get it. I was like, um, I don't there, get it. There, well, the original has, it's actually like the whole head piece. Like if you move the hood back, that's another thing too. The hood, it has the shiny sparkles that yeah. looks original to what the original um, costume looked like. And, it, and the hood is a lot more... Uh, like it's a lot more like it has a little point in the back where you, it lo- actually right. looks like a hood. It doesn't look like a hoodie. Um, and then um, the plates. It's like more plates now instead of just a head sculpt. You put the different plates on the um, and they have, and then the hands. They still hands. have to be careful because they don't have a scream license, so they you know yeah. get the license from whatever. Whoever I don't know if Trick or Treat owns it or Halloween some store yeah. owns it for that. It's Halloween just a mask. generic Halloween mask. It used to just be like a somebody a owns that dollar though. store fucking ghost mask. Yeah. Yeah, some Halloween yeah. shop owns that, and I think it's right. Trick or Treat Studios where they made all their money. I, I could be yeah. wrong, but it might be some other Halloween shop that owns mm-hmm. it, and it could be NECA now because they own Rubios or Rubies. Yeah, you know. So I, I don't know. Yeah. Like that mask was been around for fucking ever. Um, yeah, I know. But that's 
pretty much it honestly that's the only thing i've picked up that i've had lately everything else has been like non-toy related all right yo mike what'd you pick up well art the clown finally came in the mail nice but it's a five inch one it's a it's a cool. five points figure it looks a lot like a toonie tear but i mean i'll make it work it's what i got for now for art but then i uh what went up for pre-order today i don't know if you got in on it was the McFarland Lobo Deluxe motorcycle. Uh, yeah, I dog. look. I don't like the bike. I think his other, uh, too other shiny. Space Hogs look better. Like with like, it needs the skull on the front. I want that one. That, that I think it's too shiny. Like the the shiny blue paint. But yet like we it. don't know what it is. It's still not coming out till January. And mm. plus, I don't like the Lobo figure. I don't need the figure. The head sculpts look even worse to me. I want I want Mutt though. Mutt looks fucking yeah. great. But yeah. The, gotta, also, the price point this. is sixty nine dollars. I was like, yeah, nope, no, no fucking about way. Seventy five bucks. I was like, fuck mm-hmm. no. I, I mean, I'm passing. <laughs> they beat Storm Collectibles to giving the making the Lobo Space Hog. So, look, I don't think that I, many I, I, Lobo I, fans are out there because there's no movie yet. There's only talks with Jason Momoa. Mo, like, mo, 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 the, the books are the <laughs> books are making move, movement again on value. So his first appearance in Lobo number one. They're starting to make movement again really mm-hmm. high up the top tens of value. But there's a sure. problem because, look, Warner, I mean, uh, DC might be sold, or Warner Brothers, who owns DC, might be sold. Universal might buy it, but that puts a kibosh on fucking the plans to do the whole DC shit. Mm-hmm. That puts a kibosh on the plans for Jason Momoa talking with the Snyder dude, yep. you know, to make a movie and be in the new Superman. So we don't know mm-hmm. what's going to happen, you know, and well, but that's mean, why honestly, this book's going up. Honestly, the best thing DC could do would be make a Lobo fucking movie. Absolutely. I agree. It's, it's, but you got to get the right fucker to play Lobo, dude. Like, yeah. Like, they, Momoa, no they, offense. They need James Gunn I, to make a Lobo movie. I prefer, movie. like, Ron Perlman as, like, Lobo or something because he's short, stocky. He's got a deep voice. Like, mm. after watching Fast X, dude, I really don't want to see Momoa play fucking <laughs> Lobo. Like, yeah, what the fuck, dude? I think I think Momoa, like, is not a great actor. You know, I he just looks good. And I, I, I get that he's oh, a huge he's fan, though. So I, I'm for it. <laughs> but at the same time, yeah, he's cheesy as fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, he did the Conan movie, the, the Con- Momoa Conan. That was a pretty... Decent that wasn't movie. bad. Yeah, it was just over the top, a lot more gore and shit. Yeah. Like he yeah. kind of did like the old school style Conan, so it gave us a fucking barbarian. But movie, they CG you know? the they CG the sand, like they CG everything <laughs> in that fucking movie, dude. It it, it looked like a uh, a, a more action filled prequel Star mm-hmm. Wars shit. You know? <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. It was no Cole, it was no Cole the Conqueror with Kevin Sorbo and Metal, dude. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I saw that in the theater and I actually liked it. <laughs> Yo, Cobra, what'd you pick up? Well, I didn't pick up a figure, but what I did get in the mail was my Extreme Sets uh pop up diorama. You did get figures. Se- you got that whole X Men wave, Marvel Legends. Sector seven docking bay pop up that's nice and and it's fucking i'm i haven't put it together but i took out all the little like cardboard and checked it out it looks nice let me tell you it's it's huge it's don't get it on the floor cobra don't don't fall on it no that's huge but you could you could just use like a one quarter of the floor piece and set it up and do picks and shit but um uh I, I watched a few videos and I seen some some pointers on like painting the edges of the backs of the uh, of the diorama because they don't mm-hmm. really perfectly line up when you yeah. pull them. So you could see sort of a cardboard sometimes mm-hmm. in the creases yeah. and whatnot. So I, I got me a little black marker. Okay. And yeah. I fucking got me some double sided tape. Don't for use some of the don't stuff. use uh okay that pen that you showed that's that's going to be yeah. sh- uh shiny paint you want to use a flat flat uh marker like a matte yeah a matte. Oh, okay okay don't okay, use okay. gloss because it'll come up in your pictures man oh yeah, i don't yeah. play i get what you're saying yeah okay also, good idea also do the cardboard sometimes the way you light it sometimes i've had that issue where even the cardboard comes sometimes come across as too light like it has little like 
it shines so, so you, you extreme glare, sets yeah. is pretty good about that all their printings are, are matte printed but yeah. yeah you can get glare on them because it's yeah i right. have a hard time with the wrestling backdrops that they do that you know mm -hmm. one will be brighter than the other and you can tell and i'm like i gotta fix that in photoshop yeah, I also, but now that you do remind me, I mean, because I mentioned it last week that I got, I purchased it, but I do now have in hand the full K wave of um, the X Men 97. Yeah, and you had posted that the bad one of the group is the Gambit because the of the Gambit. The pastel colors just look stupid on well, it. Well, the Gambit, everything is fine on it, but the, pa the face part, the, that's, the face paint is just the. I don't know. And the, it doesn't look good. His, he's got a skinny kind of looking face. They use the secondary really head. It. Yeah. But I don't have a gambit. It's got some nice hands hands for it. It's got the staff. It's it's cool. And it, and, and that but my fave out of the whole wave, I would have to say is a storm. I really like that storm, man. Mohawk I mean, storm. The Wolverine's good. The Wolverine everybody's going nuts over the Wolverine, but I got a mess for Wolverine. And it shits on that, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the, I mean, the, and uh, the, I do appreciate the uh, Magneto because he has like these uh, kind of a black, uh, like uh, dark looking eyes and yeah. shit. I, and I, so yeah, I got that Magneto the, store too. The yeah. whole wave is pretty damn fire, but yeah, that the storm is dope, and I can't wait to get my glass shelving. You know, oh, like you, get, my friend. You're getting a curio cabinet. Yes, yeah. sir. I'm trying to all get right. it because I want to put that shit. I, I don't want to because all my mescos are in boxes. I, and I have to take them out and to do the pick mm. and then put them away and this and that. Dude, look at this dude. Play. Look at this dude, I Cobra, man. Within like a couple of months, he gets one yeah. mezco. And then yeah. he's got multiple Mezcos, and now he's yeah. getting a glass display. He's doing what yeah. I did, and it took me three years just to become <laughs> up as a pro collector and, and get, like, a glass display shelf and get into Mezcos and all this stuff. It took me three fucking years to do that. This dude does it in three months. <laughs> well, it, it really, if you think about it time-wise, I think I've been on the show for a little over a year, but I've known you guys for about two yeah. So you kind of been molding and sculpting me into what you. I am today. <laughs> no, I didn't say we groomed you. Just wait yeah. for the end result. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I we groomed you from fucking just your average Joe reseller to a fucking yeah. legit collector. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, See, that was a whole plan. That's why we, at the cult of action figures, brother. Yeah. We bring you in, Absolutely. And, and what we do is we groom and mold you to the perfect golem of collecting. See, we're ah, a little different from the Catholic time. Church, man. We don't take acquire boys and groom them because we don't give a fuck. No, we take we take, we take men. old men. <laughs> 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 we take grown ass men. <laughs> so we recently been talking about AliExpress and all their knockoff Mezcos and knockoff figures. So yeah. I finally got in that Punisher, the uh, you know the different one than you got, Mike. I got the one with the the armored chest plate, and it's a yeah. dope, solid ass figure, man. Right? I have, look, just the face sculpts are great. You can see the seam, the mold seam on on the you know the face head. You know, but it's yeah. fine though. The paint apps are good, except for the body. His neck is a way different color than his face sculpts. But I don't, dude. Mm -hmm. It's a solid yeah. fucking figure. The the handguns cock, like the the big yeah. ass bullet Terminator gun rotates. Like I was like, oh shit, dude. They went all out on this KO. Mm -hmm. Holy yeah. fuck, this is a yeah. great fucking figure. And it was like basically forty dollars. You know, I yeah. see why it was forty dollars as a KO because it's fucking solid. It, it, it is. It it makes you want to start a quality fucking Fesco fucking Fesco. bootleg fucking yeah. one twelve <laughs> shelf. And right? this is a day and an age like, where Punisher is not allowed to be Punisher. He's got to have yeah. a stupid Mandalorian symbol and fucking use ninja swords. What the fuck, Marvel? Yeah. When you have guns yeah. in all your fucking movies, but Punisher, no, no, he's too dark, too dark. His yeah, whole but family's it's dead. Cool that now he's the League of Shadows guy or whatever. I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> I want the the skull. I don't want that man. Wait, no, the hand. He's he's the head of the hand now. 
Well, yeah. dude, he was also ghostwriter in space. Who gives a fuck? And a Herald of Galactus. Who gives a shit? Yeah. This dude did and he everything. he deal with fucking Mephisto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking, so he fucked them both over. So wait, did they replace the skull with a hand? <laughs> like, yeah, what do they do now? <laughs> no, no that's like the fucking thing from the Mandalorian. That whatever the fuck that is. It's, uh, so uh, stupid, uh, it's a stupid symbol, uh, man. It looks like the Mandalorian symbol. Uh, yeah, because well, they don't. The skull's yeah. too evil, and he can't use guns. Well, I'll tell you this. Well, then just kill Punisher. Trying... Make him die. I'll buy that <laughs> comic book because I buy comic books where they die. Well, so I cover got, it. When are you going to buy a Well, I'll tell you this. My old lady has definitely replaced skull with the hand. Oh, because I ain't getting no skull, no. and I'm definitely getting plenty of my own hand. Okay. <laughs> you punishing yourself. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm looking at the logo now. It looks like a fucking uh, it Mandalorian looks like, symbol. I, I was going to say Mythic Legions. <laughs> right. <laughs> he's, one, he's one of the uh, one of the groups. Dude, I also yeah, picked yeah, up yeah. those starting lineups that have been showing up at Marshalls, like two LeBrons and two Se- Steph Currys. And I opened one of the Steph Currys. <laughs> And right. they're actually dope figures, man. In the presentation, although windowless packaging, you open it up, you get like, you know, a cool shiny card. And those cards alone going for, uh, you know, more than what Marshalls is charging, twelve ninety nine. You know, you get the ball hands that that's connected to the ball, which kind of sucks. But he's got real fucking Nikes, you know, like it, mm. it it's they're actually well articulated. I see why they're fifty dollars because they had to pay for the fucking Nike branding and shit. Damn. Yeah, and but go, he doesn't no even tattoos. wear Nikes, bro. And, and here I we know, have a, Nikes. And we're got a big right? ass cut. Yeah, he, he has worn fucking, Nikes in yeah. Hello, I don't yeah. even know if he's wearing and Nikes, but I is he? I don't even fucking know. I know that there's branding on there though. I don't know. That what yeah, he wears too. Under Armour, bro. No, we have Hot Toys who has a Miles Morales into the Spider Verse uh, figure, and they couldn't give him the fucking Nike Jordans. Like you are a big company that makes a lot of money, and you got this little company that's charging fifty dollars, but you're giving them free real Nikes. Like that fucking yeah. sucks. Like you got to get custom sneakers <laughs> for your Hot Toy. Yeah, that's Michael sucks. Jordan's probably that an asshole. Suck. When they went to Michael Jordan, he's like, no. Nah. I don't want it on no doll. But I started when it came with more money. Probably. 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 I also got the he G.I. Joe classified uh, trip wire in that I got from Hasbro Pulse. Which, dude, I got to stop buying these fucking Joes because I don't even display them. I got my glass display cabinet up and I started putting all my wrestling figures in it. And it, it's not full yet, but I'm getting there, man. I just, like Mike said on the Hoodcast chat, which you can join on Instagram, just ask to join Hoodcast chat. It's called something else now because we do a weekly hashtag, and uh, the new hashtag is going to be something else. But whatever. A weekly what? Hashtag <laughs> for your picture photography, man. Because wait, wait, Are where'd you... you get that name from? Hash Brown. I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> what? I mean, the weekly what? Hashtag. Oh, I, I could have swore you were promoting. <laughs> My show, The Weekly Habit, which is on IG every Wednesday. Oh, the show that nobody sees. Yeah. 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 No, I've watched Aww. it. Uh, no, I've never. I've been on it, and then it didn't air. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. man. I don't know what you're doing, dude. All you got to do is watch 30 seconds of it. That way he gets into the algorithm, man. That's all I need, guys. <laughs> no, I like it. 30 and I seconds support every it. time. Look, I support everyone's show, even the uh, AWA that I can't remember their name and say it phonetically. (laughs) (laughs) As as Trump would say, the the A windowless kitchen show. (laughs) A windowless windowless kitchen. (laughs) Yes. The the one where Mike 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 TV wins all the prizes, but is now not not allowed to like join any contests. <laughs> because, yeah, he got uh, banned. <laughs> <laughs> that was you know, that was such a fucking this such a fucking went back to back on their shit. But it yeah. also works in a way that, dude, if if me or Cobra won a prize, people would start yeah, to think like, like what's going on, on here. <laughs> yeah, we got guilty by association. Bro. Absolutely, dude. No, no we were in the running. Well, I saw my duck a little bit. Uh, my duck didn't do anything, a, though, in that contest. And just, to cl- and just to clarify, it was not rigged. He won fair and square both times, yeah. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> both times fair and square. It was actually funny. It was like, shit, this guy's just winning everything. Well, shit, I'm man. I'm surprised we didn't get any. 
Yeah. Let's go to the awesome. listener segment coming up with the gang. We come not 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 with the gang. Not with the gang. We come not with the gang. We come not with the gang. We come not with the gang. Is what they do worthwhile? Never. Fuck no. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Man. Come on, man. Come on, man. If you want to come up the gang, use that weekly hashtag. And the new hashtag on Instagram will be hashtag hoodcastaf underscore cheap thrills, man. And these go Monday to Sunday. Yeah. So that's nice. going to be the new one. The old one was yeah. busting, makes me feel good. That one's done. So there's going to be a new one every week. And I'm going to feature someone's artwork, someone's photography as the new promo, just like all the other sites do it. So jump on that and also, you You're know. You're going to use my shit, right? No. But, um. <laughs> <laughs> look, I asked to join Hoodcast Chat on Instagram. Get your Instagram account going. Join Hoodcast Chat. Get on there so you can chat and converse with us all day. So also go to hoodcastaf.com. All our episodes are up there. And you can also leave a voice message button. It's right there on the side. And we're going to play some of those tonight. So yeah. let's get to the uh, voice calls. We got a couple here. <laughs> uh, we got a call from uh, James O'Barr. Did we play that already? I don't know. I've what never heard of James that. James O'Barr, and you're listening to Hoodcast AF. But I uh, hope they have crow toys because that's all I got going for me. That's true. Oh, I was uh, paid to say that. Uh, Mike. EVT is a disgusting fat body. <laughs> wow. Um, James O'Barr, everyone. Also, Fuck the Night Party podcast is you know going around. I just hear that. He's back cool. on his bullshit. Right. Yeah, like... Well, we got a call from uh, the sociopathic clown, Bingo. We haven't heard from Bingo in a while, so let's see what Bingo's going up to. <laughs> Oh, that's right, Kevin. It's your old buddy, Bingo. How's everybody buddy in Hoodcast land today? Good, good. I hope everyone's doing fine. So, Bingo's got a new routine, and I'm going to try it out here on you, Hoodcast guys. Okay. So, this guy's going out golfing. He's in town that he's not familiar with, and he's trying out a new golf course he's never been on. So he plays a few holes, uh, and he starts realizing he's lost, and he doesn't doesn't know where he is. So he goes to the hole in front of him, and he asks the the lady that's playing, excuse me, can you tell me what hole I'm on? And the woman says, well, I'm on the fifth hole, and you're one hole behind me, so you must be on the fourth hole. And he said, "Well, well, thank you very much. So they play for a little while longer, and then he realizes he's fucking lost again. So he goes and asks the lady, he says, pardon me, I, I hate to be a pain, but I'm lost again. Could you could you tell me what hole we're on? And she says, well, I'm on the 10th hole, so you must be on the 9th hole because you're one hole behind me. And he says, well, okay, thank you very much. So he finishes his round of go- golf and he goes inside the clubhouse. And he sees the woman sitting at the bar, and he buys her a drink. And he says, I'd like to buy you a drink for your appreciation. He says, so what do you do for a living? And she says, well, actually, you're going to laugh, but I fucking sell tampons. And the guy starts laughing, and she says, see, I told you you're going to laugh. He said, no, I'll tell you why, why I'm laughing. I'm in sales, too. I sell toilet paper. I'm still just one hole behind you. Bingo! Good journey. I lost me. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, the joke was still going. <laughs> oh, I, I wait. One hole behind you with toilet paper. I still don't get it. Am I? Am I dumb? I don't get yeah. it. I don't know. All four of us are just kind of sitting here, so like, huh? <laughs> I think that joke would have been funnier if he had to just did it. The first round, like of golf, and then said the joke. I mean, it's you something to do I'm with saying? holes, though, right? I don't oh, Clover telling him how to write jokes now. Oh shit! You know that's joke, joke. ninja. 
Uh, we got another call. Nice it doesn't say who it's from. So let's just see. It's random. Great. Like to hear pee, pee and poop. Give us something real. I need to hear a shart or something. This is look. Be a man. How fucking long is it gonna take a piss? It's not a very good piss. Like I pee strong, man. I'm like, oh. yeah, this, this, dude. This I'm is melting turds dribbly, and shit. Yeah. You ever play that game? Like a, whoever, this guy's got like a a, a, a narrow urethra or some shit like Maybe that. Maybe it's Hank Hill, dude. Like, look, <laughs> when I pee, it's like, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> strong, <laughs> dude. My prostrate, yeah. It, yeah. You know, like, <laughs> and especially when there's a turd in there, it's called Dissolve the Turd. It's a fun game, man. <laughs> uh, there's another call from nothing. Let's just see. Hoodcast AF, what's going on? Long time listener, Steve first Z. Time caller. First, let me say kudos to the showrunner producer last week. Thank I'm you. I'm guessing that was that little kid, Jackson. Yeah, that's me. Uh, the first segment, you reviewed a video that the listeners couldn't see and the co host couldn't hear. <laughs> And I think you tried to do some play-by-play. Uh, anyway, great job on that. Uh, just a couple of things I want to comment on last week. Cobra Dad, I do not think you're a third wheel. Since being on this show, you've gone from Cobra Dad to Cobra Badass. Cat Dad. Don't ever kick that weekly habit, brother. And Mikey don't. TV, well, I don't think I have to say anything else. That name is synonymous with excellence. Although I didn't know you were a Packers fan. Going to see what we can do to change that now that you live in Texas. Those 49ers did put an ass whooping on the Cowboys, but we bounced back against the Chargers. How did the 49ers bounce everyone, back? Everyone bounced back against the Chargers. Against the Vikings. Let me know. Also, I'd like to hear a couple of the callers call in. I like hearing from Bongo. He's fun. I like hearing from the Fets. They're fun to listen to. They're entertaining. But can we get Ganja Fred to call back in? He's one of my favorites. Mm. Also, Lulu, give me a ring. And, oh, h- hey, hold on just one second. What's that? Oh, yeah. Tell the monarch that Dr. Mrs. Monarch says hi. God bless Hoodcast AF. God bless Texas. Thank you for the call. Nice. Uh, we haven't heard from him in a while. He had some yeah, interesting things. Calling. Still getting names wrong because, he, you know, I don't know how avid of a listener he is. But, hey, you know, he, even he got my shot name right. Yeah, he, he got took a shout out right. of the Niners, bro. I like, he's, he, he's on top of his game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we didn't do well against the Vikings, so you know that. <laughs> yeah. It could have been a game, could have been, could have been, but it wasn't. You know, we got another call. Uh, doesn't say who it's from, so let's just play it. Come on, hello, I, it's me, Terry. Fellas, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Terry. Oh, thank Christ, fellas. Listen, I'm in a bit of a situation here. Uh, I'm kind of embarrassed to say this. I don't really know how to say it, but uh, old Terry got himself into a bit of a situation, and I need a little help from someone. Uh, See, what happened was I found this girl here on Tinder and all she said she wanted to meet up. So we went and met her at a bar and we had a few drinks and she was a really pretty girl. And, uh, you know, I figured this she was down to get down, if you know what I mean. So we got her <laughs> good and drunk and then uh, she went back to my place with me. Uh, and then I went, well, I cracked open a couple of beers there and then I went to the pisser real quick. And when I came back, I had a few more sips of my beer, and then when I woke up, old fucking Terry, I passed out, and old fucking Terry woke up handcuffed to the bed, mate. I'm, I, I've been throwing things at my phone for the last 24 minutes trying to get it to ring on someone, and it finally collected on you boys. So thank fucking Jesus. All right. But I, I'm chained to the, I'm, I'm handcuffed and, and, and cuffed at the feet to this bed here, yeah. and, uh, oh, uh, this, I got this vibrator stuck up my bum there. It's a real big one, and every now, oh, and then when it gets turned on, and it's not a lot of fun, fellas. It's got a stamp on it. It says Dick Dash. I'm listening. You son of a bitch! It's one of Cobra's fucking things. <laughs> Cobra, did you set? Oh, did you set this up, mate? It's not very funny. Somebody, please come down here with don't chain old Terry. Please, I need help. Oh shit! Great, now my phone's gonna start. Look, like I said before, don't ever call us for help. We're not those people. 
Like, yeah. We were just not, you know. We're calling the wrong motherfuckers. <laughs> like, your first emergency call is like, I got to call Hood Kiss. <laughs> Yeah. I gotta let them know what's going on. No, it's true. Yeah. You should. I got I, I got a vibrator in me, bum. <laughs> oh, Terry. Just hanging out. Put a little, another shrimp in my bum. That's all it can hold. <laughs> Warming up to the biggest. <laughs> Look, it's Halloween. Devil's night to be exact. You know, when this mm-hmm. episode pretty much comes out or come out earlier. So let's fire it up, gentlemen. We got fire smokes. We got road beers. We got to fire it up because, dude, it's fucking devil's night. Yeah. And the next day, it's Halloween. Woo! So we got to. This is the time of carving pumpkins, pumpkin spice everything, beer. Yeah. Coffee, stay awake, light those jack o' lanterns. Watch your you, fucking horror Tell movie. your wife not to shower that night and then eat her ass, and that's a spicy <laughs> pumpkin. Wow. <laughs> all right. Spicy pumpkins all around. Not not for you, gentlemen. <laughs> not for me. Wait, I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> Look, I think a spicy pumpkin is like a coffee pumpkin spice with a little bit of whiskey in it or a lot no, of it. No, 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 no. The spicy pumpkin spice. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, Toy Attic, you got any plugs, man? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got a couple. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't even realize what I said. <laughs> <laughs> because I need to shut this cobra fool up. You know, That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got a couple of plugs. So, uh, um, to, uh, sa- Sunday, I will be at the New Jersey area. I will be at Chubsy Wubsies. He's going to be having a Halloween celebration. That dude's um, awesome. If anybody's, yeah. yeah. Um, anybody's in the Jersey area, if you stop by in costume, you get 20% off any select merchandise in the store. Um, come hang out. I'm, come have a drink with me. I'll be there. With my kids, so I'll be there. So there's, you know, I'm gonna have drinks with me. So also, check out the last hang. episode of uh, A Worthy Addiction on YouTube, featuring Chubsy yeah. Wubsy and Mrs. Wubsy. They are great yeah. guests on your show, man. And yes. dude, I gotta yes. give it to you, man, because you're a great host. Never mind that uh, unworthy guy. But <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you, dude, you got the gift of gab, man. You can sit there and just roll and talk. And even when shit goes wrong, you know how to roll with the punches, man. I really respect <laughs> that. I've I've learned I've learned from a I've learned from a, I appreciate that and, and shout out to shout out to my co-host man because he he likes to save my ass sometimes unlike that okay unlike that unworthy guy you are the ticket man but if I'm you saying want to check I mean, it out when I, I, when I watch the show I'm like these two guys are good but this guy's I mean this guy's got it the yeah. it yeah <laughs> and then. What? Like, and your other co-host who, like, I think he collects McFarlane's and shit, you know? What the fuck is up with that, dude? That's right, motherfuckers. (laughs) Kevin is my number one McFarlane's fans. He buys my McFarlane's the Joker eyes. He buys me the Coker eyes. He buys me the Mayo eyes. Y'all know we love him worthy. Like, he, (laughs) you know, he turned us on to everything else. Like, the Rowdy Boys, uh, the the Big Bar. Like he that's was just up people. with everyone, man. Like I'm worthy. Yeah, like that's yeah. why we got you on because you, we. I know you as the horror guy, so you helped yeah. us out on this episode, and I thank you for yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna fly out to Jersey. Can I crash at your pad, bro? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go check this Chubsy thing out, man. Fuck Dude, and listen, I listen. Go. Anybody that comes, anybody that comes out, man. Listen, anybody that comes out, it's an awesome store. They have like everything, everything. But like I got set in the show last night. The level, the level of respect and just the transparency with them, you're that you're gonna love that even more. So it's right. even better. So right. shout out to oh, Chubsy and Mrs. Wubsy. No doubt, no doubt. Just so people know, we're listening to Halloween by Halloween, which is a uh, you know old school power metal band, one of Jericho's favorite fucking metal bands, and he tries ah. to be like that. So California Mexican yeah. food is better than Texas food. Don't fucking tease me, Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, my wife just handed me this ill burrito. Shit, I gotta go get something to eat before I gotta go back and deal with fucking Danny Filth, who looks like Tommy Wiseau. 
<laughs> so, all right, gentlemen, I'm going to say my uh, adieus here, and uh, I think we did it. Yeah. We did it. We don't say goodbye. We, we say, say good, good journey. 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 There's an old attorney saying, Live the journey, for every destiny is but a doorway to another. Good journey. Good journey.